Live day trading penny stocks. Live day trading on a small account, small amounts. Live day trading live stream from 9 a.m. till noon. Live day trading using TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim. Day trading live, low full, small cap, basically penny stocks. <laughs> there we go. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. It's good to be here. You guys know, just like always, what I go through, I'm looking at CODX. There's also, like you guys were saying, MBRX. Where is, yeah, MBRX, and there's a couple other ones, AYTU, I'm not going to trade that one, PSTI, CODX, FLGT, HTBX, there's a few stocks moving, some sub-dollar stocks like HTBX, MBRX, and stuff like that, but anyways, I was just trying to sink down in my seat, get more, good morning, I'm going to follow the volume. Wherever the volume is, that's where I'm going to trade. I did take some pre-market trades this morning. I took them on CODX. I didn't want to waste all my buying power, so I bought two shares one time and then another share another time. Welcome to the channel, Eric Williams. You couldn't have came to a better place. Where you're seeing from your very eyes my one-minute chart, five-minute chart, 15-minute chart, level two time and sales, and this is my active trade where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. Good morning. Took two trades pre market on HTBX in 58 cents, out 73 cents. Average for $606, made weekly go boom, boom, boom. I'm very sketched out today in the stock market. I'm going to be very, very careful. I think all the opportunity was on CODX, but it's already moved up so high. I did take some trades. I should have sized in in the pre market, but I don't do that. I just tested in the pre-market, but there were some great trades. I also traded AYTU this morning, but that was a horrible, horrible trade again. MB G Santi says MBRX independent research suggests that one of this drugs could work against the CV. If it's confirmed by trials, this stock could reach the skies for first time. I don't see pump and dump here. MBRX. Yes, I have MBRX on my list also. It is going down. It does look good. It looks okay. So basically, yeah, my top stocks for the day are CODX right now. MBRX, AYTU, HTBX, AIM, APRN, I'm not going to trade that one. That one was moving around this morning. And I also have FLGT, that one. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that one either. But anyway, there's a few stocks. There's a few stocks to do with the coronavirus. The stocks I'm going to trade are going to have to do with the coronavirus. <laughs> Adelie, boom, boom, boom. Good morning. Okay, let me get through my stuff. Jeez, I'm just wandering around this morning. I'm wandering around just talking, just talking and talking, not even going through my, uh, you guys know my spiel. Let's get on this show on the road, man. Uh, 2020, day 52 of the Monkey Army March. All the way up. Get in where you fit in. I think this is a very good saying for right now. Get in where you fit in because the market's super tough. So we're going to have to, you know, get in where we fit in, man. <laughs> that's what we're doing around here. Day 52, that's how many market days there's been in 2020. 52 market days so far. So there we go. The next thing I go through is adding money. I save $5 each and every day. I think this is very doable for most people. Saving $5 each each and every day. So far, I have $30. When I get up to $100, I add it into my Thinkorswim account so I can trade with larger share size, larger cash account. Because right now, I use a cash account with TD Ameritrade. Donates right below that. Some of you have been kind enough to donate. Thank you, man. You guys know I'm not a rich man. Every single dollar that comes to this live stream stays with this live stream. I can promise you that. Anyways, I'm saving for a CMAG account and a TradeNet account, but boom, 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 boom. Okay, there we go. The next thing I'm going to go through a little bit is the monkey army. Who's in the monkey army? You guys know. We'll go through this clear on Mondays and Fridays. I put 20% of the ad revenue into the monkey army fund for future giveaways. Pretty soon, we're going to be able to spread out some more things, spread it out, and spread it on up. Anyways, we're going to grow the monkey army. We got this. Next thing I'm going to go through is my green day plus $11.44. I took 10 trades, 6 wins, 4 losses, 60% win rate. My average winner was around 15 cents. My average loser was 11 cents. Wins and losses in total number of cents was 23 cents per share. If I was trading 1,000 shares across the board, I would have had 230 bucks. 
And this is average. This ain't exactly right on the money, but that's basically super close. I kind of just figure it out because sometimes I add two positions and it, it's just, a, you know, that's what it is. Boom. Good morning, folks. I ordered one of the keychains to support the stream. It came in the mail yesterday. <laughs> Thanks. Maggie Temple, you don't even know those keychains. Believe it. Those are going to be, you, you're an early adopter, man. Maggie, you're an early adopter. It's going to be some great stuff going on in the future. We're going to the top. We're going to the moon. We are going parabolic. Hang in there, man. <laughs> Terry says, morning, monkey. Boom, boom, boom to the moon. Like, like, like. If you guys could, please hit the like button, YouTube loves it and I love it too. Okay, the next thing I have to do, shout from the rooftops, I shout you out loud. These are the people that have donated. Thank you, man. You guys know I'm not a rich man. Thank you for finding value in my live stream. That means so much that you guys have been kind enough to donate. And I can tell you one thing, every single dollar that comes into this live stream stays with the live stream, stays with the monkey army. We're going to the top, man. That's what we're doing. And my next thing I have to go through is my word. I'm trying to learn a new word each week. This word's a little bit of a juvenile word because I already kind of know it. You know what I mean? I know this word, but I was I was putting too big of words out there for me to learn each week. Next week, I'm going to have a better word. But this week is phenomenal. Very remarkable. Extraordinary. I think phenomenal, if I can use that in a sentence, that will grow my vocabulary because I don't use that word very much. So this is going to be a phenomenal phenomenal live stream man <laughs> okay there we go I, I i think i went through everything and you guys know now i add check marks to my i add check marks to my live stream anytime i take a trade if you see a green check mark it means i took a green trade if you see a red check mark i took a red trade and i try to keep it right in order for how many trades i take i try to take less than eight trades a day but sometimes i see so much opportunity in the stock market man phenomenal rock all right phenomenal phenomenal thank you guys take uh, man you guys just saying that word take your bow take your applause man <laughs> we got this we got this what is gonna happen i think they're gonna solve the coronavirus very very scary stuff very scary stuff i'm not sure what's happening let's go look at the spy real quick it looks like i thought codx i was hoping it was going to come down to like 1250 like it is right now at the market open i usually don't trade a stock that's over ten dollars but CODX to me has a lot of opportunity. And I want to show you, like by the $12.50, $12, I was thinking about starting a position about $12.50 and adding into the 1192s. If it got below the 1190s, 1180s right there, I'd probably have to stop out. But anyways, who knows what's going to happen. Maybe it's going to come all the way back down to $11. This one has a history kind of moving weird. The Army will have a phenomenal green day. Good morning, monkey and Army. Oh, I need to go through my trades real quick. Let's go through my trades before I do anything else. I got to go through my trades I took this morning in the pre-market. Maximize sell, shrink my head down, right? Yeah, shrink my head down. Okay, let me show you my trades real quick. Uh, style, settings, show trades. Okay, right here. Click, click, apply. Okay. So anyways, let me put this on the one minute chart so we can see them a little bit clearer. My first trade happened right here. Let's look at it. I ended up buying two shares at $11.72, which was right here on this little dip right here on this one minute candle. I ended up selling one of those shares at $12 for plus 28 cents, which was right here. So I sold one share right here. And my next share I sold at... 12.45 at $12.45 right there for $12.45 for plus 20 73 cents so I got a, a dollar one per share basically I got a dollar or I got a dollar one a dollar one on two shares so I got like 50 cents on average 50 cents a share boom so that was my first trade my next trade happened over here Look at this. This reminds me, uh, Ricardo, or uh, who was that? Yeah, I think it's Ricardo. No, uh, man. Well, uh, yeah, but anyways, the third tap method. You see CODX. It's the one-minute chart. It came up. It tapped it once. It started tapping it, or it tapped it once. It tapped it twice on this third tap right here. 
I ended up, I didn't want to spend all my buying power, so I didn't even buy two shares, but I bought one share at $12.55. My risk was down by $12. If it was going to come back to $12, I was going to add to my position one more share, but it didn't. It ended up going up the third tap, and it flew right on up, right on up. To, I sold my share at $12.83, so I got $0.28 cents per share on that. And look, if I would have had two shares, I would have held this at least up to thirteen fifty was my profit target. But it ended up going all the way to fourteen eighty eight. What a monster play! My last and final pre market trade happened on AYTU. I this stock gets me every single time. AYTU. So let's go find it real quick. Uh, oh, right here. Anyways, let, let's do this. I bought two shares at $1.81, which was right here. This is the one minute chart right here, $1.81. My, pro my first profit target was $1.88, right in front of this high a day. But I was starting to see it wasn't getting through this $1.85, $1.86 level. So I sold one share at $1.85 for plus four cents. And then I was leaving the treehouse. Actually, if I could have put a hard stop in there at $1.81, I would have. And I would have left my profit target up towards $1.88. But anyways, I was leaving. So I got uh, one share at $1.82. So I got plus five cents. Uh, I got plus five cents all together. I know not a big win, but that was an okay trade trade to me it's just i aytu gets me every time okay let's shrink that down that's all my pre-market trades i took right there so that was every single trade okay so we went through that everything's fine now we we know every single one of my trades i'm going to show you every single one of my trades all the way to one million dollars day trading low full small cap basically penny stocks man <laughs> let me blow myself back back up right there boom okay boom Boom. Okay, here we go. So MBRX, you guys are looking at, man. MBRX does look like a good one. I'm going to follow the volume at the market open. Third, oh, Jesse, there you are. Jesse Rodriguez, third touch move right there. That was exactly the third touch move. I seen the power in it. I kind of got filled a little bit too high. I was anticipating I was buying on a green candle. If I would have got filled at a 1230s, in the 1230s, I would have felt a lot more comfortable in that trade. But then I made the decision ahead of time. I was going to go, if it came back, CODX came down to $12. I was going to add one more share down there and then look for that move up towards the 1350s, but I didn't hold on long enough. But anyways, I just wanted to lock in my profits and that's what I do. Good morning equals good morning. Kitten caboodles in time. Good morning. It's good to see you guys. C-O-D, S-A says C-O-D-X, A-P-R-N, M-B-R-X. A Y T U S A says the army will have a phenomenal green day. <laughs> ball to ball, take your bow. Welcome to the channel, X Man VG. Uh, you couldn't have came to a better place where you're seeing from your very eyes. My one minute chart, five minute chart, fifteen minute chart, level two, time and sales, and this is my active trader where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Thank you guys for being here. I learned so much from every single one of you. I seriously, seriously, seriously do. Good morning, Trading Monk, TT. Good to see you, man. Kitten Caboodles, uh, Torque Daddy, uh, Lee Hill, G. Santi, Nat, my, meh, uh, Jesse, Ricardo, S.A., Chase Smith, uh, Paul DeVald, everybody, X-Man. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's good to see you. You are in the right room. X-Man, you are in the right spot. There's so much stuff to learn here. So many great, great things. I got to put PSTI is another one. All the stocks I'm looking at today have to do with the coronavirus, or at least that's what they're saying. That is what they're saying. So PSTI. I wanted to look at MRNA. Look at this one. Oh, that's the one minute chart right there. Oh man, I, I had the one minute chart. Look how high this is going. MRNA. I seriously b believe this one could go over $50. <laughs> is that crazy? Maybe it goes even higher than that. I don't know. But MRNA, look at that. That is a that was a beautiful swing trade. It may be a little bit late right now. You would probably have to look for a little bit of a pullback but then what's going to happen if it goes down are they really is it really going to work out for them what's going to happen i'm not sure but anyways that was a good good trade on mrna if you trade that high uh, volume here's cetx is powering up 
CETX is powering up a little bit. So here we go. Let me put this on a little full momentum test. CETX, we know this one. Anytime this goes up, it comes right down. <laughs> CETX, man. Oh, there's another stock I was looking at, RAD, which is Rite Aid. There's going to be a beautiful short sell on Rite Aid. I think today for a day trade, Rite Aid, RAD, if you can short sell, I think there's going to be a great, great short sell. That's my opinion, though. That's how I feel. Maybe it's going to go straight up. Just remember, I, I, I like to short sell into those quick little pushes up but i think it's getting right to the top of its range it's gonna go boom fall back down man at least that's my opinion but remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade mrna is very expensive but could go very high it's got some great news sa exactly man Greet greetings from dublin ireland man trevor yeah i'm gonna have a party at my house i live in the united states and when i do i'm inviting every single last one of you this is going to be the biggest party this town has ever seen the biggest freaking party this town has ever seen, man. What stocks are we looking at for today? Uh, my top stock for today is CODX, but I, I'm not sure. And PSTI, I also have FLGT, I have AYTU, and I have HTBX and MBRX. Look at this. Look at CETX. What's going on? I have no idea what the news is or nothing on this one. Let's look at the daily chart. So it's at $1.21, 121. It can get up to $1.48. Is this just a technical play or what's going on right there? I'm going to put one more line right there at $1.07. $1.07 looks like it has some support down there. CETX, what's going on with this thing? This thing's going up, up, and up, man. Up. I don't know what's going on here. There's also WTRH, which has to do, oh no, WTRH, it has to do with, it has finance or something. I'm not sure with that one. But anyways, there's a few stocks. I like FLGT. We're just going to follow the volume at the market open. I'm not real sure. I don't like CODX too much unless it came down to the 1250s, maybe even the 11, uh, $12. If it, even if it came down to $11, I still may like it. CODX, I've been watching that one. I have my eye on it. I, I, I have my eye good on that one, but we'll have to see. We'll see what happens. Two million new orders in CETX. Look at this. Somebody pushed this right on up there. How high can this go? Look at look how high it went on this day. It went all the way to 331, man. I don't know, 60, man, I don't know what's going on. What's this one have to do with CETX, Semtrex, Semtrex Incorporated? How could I see the news right there? Because of Corona uh, stocks and shares falling, so what best to invest 1,500 euros? Any tips, people? I'm not sure if it's the right time right now, but there is going to be. I'm not sure when to get in. That's what I'm trying to decide myself right now is when there's going to be so much money made when the coronavirus gets solved. There's, there's so many stocks that have been beat down so hard. I really truly believe and I think a lot of people believe like I do that there's going to be a great great bounce. There's going to be a humongous bounce. There could there's going to be a lot of money made, man. I'm not sure that's what I'm looking for myself. If you can find the right one, you're going to make some money, man. That 1500 could turn into 100,000, man. <laughs> Seriously. I I don't know. That's just my opinion, but who the coronavirus is just starting in the United States. So who knows how bad it's going to get? Are they going to solve it? Is it There's so many unanswered questions out there. You know what I mean? There's so many I, I need to quit saying you know what I mean. I've been saying that a lot either. I-N-O. Yeah, I-N-O. I-N-O. A test. So, uh, yeah, the FDA made a policy change on I-N-O. So, uh, they're, they're trying to make a test for the coronavirus. Ain't that that one? Or...
Oh, no, 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 that's not it. That I mean, that was C-O-D-X, actually. I-N-O is trying to make a vaccine. I uh, Scratch everything I just said. I don't trade I-N-O. It has a little bit higher float. According to Yahoo Finance, it has 141 million float, man. I, I was looking at a different stock. I'm sorry. That I-N-O, scratch everything I just said. I'm not going to trade I-N-O, but there could be some good plays on it. I do have it up on the chart over here, but I'm not going to take it as a day trade. I'm just not. You can buy one share of every big name and make money. Yeah, Paul, that's a great idea right there, Paul the Ball, because over time, I really think, yeah, one of your companies is going to rebound, definitely. CODX is my top stock. There's also HTBX. Man, CODX is a monster today. This one, you're really going to have to dumb down your share size. If I do trade this one, I'm going to probably trade only with 5, 10 shares. I, I don't want to get too wrecked today, you know, and this one can move so much, $2, $10. I could lose $20 quickly. This thing can move $2 a minute in a heartbeat, man. So anyway, so anyone that's here for the very first time, what you're seeing in front of your eyes is my one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two, time and sales. And this is my active trader where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Paul, very good. Paul, very good. What did Paul say? Man, Paul, you can buy, yeah, one share. Paul, very good. MRNA, what you think is your entry point? Uh, $20, $20 was my entry point, but I I don't know. Uh, for for a, a day trade or a swing trade, I'm not sure right now what it would be at, but... Uh, I, I don't know for a swing trade or a day trade for it could even be a good day trade stock This one can move huge 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 huge. I, I really don't we're, I'm not real sure yeah, you're gonna have to trade your own plan plan your own trade I think the easy money was back when it was right. Where was that? right Back, oh, the day before, I think the easy money, see see how it started bottoming out? And if you looked on the daily chart, it was running out of volume, kind of. Look at this. This looked like the good, the, the spot to turn around, the spot to turn around, and it definitely did. Now it's been going up, up, and up, and up, and up, and up. What's it going to do today? It did make a high of 32. We're going to have to see, is it really... Is it really going to fulfill? Is it going to make a vaccine or whatever? Is it really going to pull through? <laughs> Is the stream cutting out for anyone else? Hopefully it's not cutting out, man. Mr. Nice, hopefully it's not, but it may be. Uh, news, MBRX signs agreement with UTBM to test WP1122 on a range of viruses, including coronavirus. Good here. All good here in Dublin, Ireland. Trevor Stewart <laughs> coming all the way from Dublin, Ireland, man. I, Dublin, Ireland. Great. It's great to see. It's great to have everybody here. Let me get back on CODX. So I'm not going to trade right out the market open. There's too many, too much weird stuff going on. Maybe NVAX is going to move today too. NVAX is another one. I, I don't know. Man, I am off. Oh, another one of my top stocks I forgot to tell you is AIM. AIM is another one. I think today has to be the day with AIM. Where, where, I forgot to, oh, there it is. I'm going to drag this one down. So can you, uh, boom. So you can see I'm a little bit, I, I really don't know what I'm going to trade right now. I just don't. I was going to trade CODX, but it got so high in the pre-market. It, it can really get going. It can go a lot higher, but I... Now I'm kind of on the fence on what to trade. Maybe MBRX, like you guys are saying. There's a few of you saying MBRX. There's AIM. I'm going to follow the volume and I'm going to find it. I'm going to get it. But CODX, I, I may take a trade to open wash out. Boom. We'll have to see. APRN looks strong. Yes, APRN. Uh, man, that has to be a short sell today, doesn't it, Mr. Nice? <laughs> it has to, man. That thing just keeps going up and up and up. I can't believe that thing. APRN. Uh, 
It, that one's so hard for me to read. I would have called it a day a long time ago on that thing, but that thing's doing something I just don't understand too much. So if I don't understand it, I'm probably not going to trade it unless it's little scalp move, a range trade. You guys know the types of trades I take. I take the... Uh, uh, drop fake and pop boom, the open washout boom, the range trade, the buy the dip, sell the rip, the first pullback, and the VWAP test if it's under the VWAP. And those are all the trades I take each and every day. <laughs> That's it, man. That is it. J-Nug, what do you think? I'm not going to be looking at stuff like that. I know the T-VIX and uh, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of money. I, I wish I could go over there and trade that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? I, I need to look at this, actually. TVX and the SPY. Let's look at the SPY. What What's going to happen? The previous day's close on the SPY was 239.85. It's at 244. If you go to the monthly chart, uh, this thing is definitely playing around with some dangerous territory. It's in some dangerous, dangerous territory. I don't know if it's going to catch its feet. What's going to happen? Do people have faith that the market's going to turn around? I'm confused. I'm basically just really, really confused right now. There's Anthony. Good to see you. Anthony, I was just going to talk to you a little bit in a little while. Oh, man. Anthony, it's good to see you, man. How's it going, everyone? Just checking in. Been busy lately. Sorry for the absence. It's good to see you, uh, Anthony. Really, really good to see you, man. Just like all you guys here, uh, Flores, Mr. Nice, S.A., everybody, G. Santi, M.B.R.X. I'm watching. I If you guys don't know, I have another chart over here with a whole, I mean, I have another screen over here with a whole bunch of charts over here. So on my other charts, I have HTBX, I have CODX, I have PSTI, I have MBRX, I have FLGT, I have AYTU, I have OPGN, I have AIM. AIM is looking good. Today's the day. AIM is probably my stock, my top stock right now. AIM and uh, CODX. These are my top two stocks. I'm writing them down right now. CODX. C-O-D-X. These are my top stocks, just from one I'm trying to pinpoint down right now, but it could be something totally different. It, it really could. And there's FLGT. If that thing gets over the $9, it has super low volume, though. It's very, very sketchy. FLGT. It has to do with the coronavirus also. So we're going to be careful. We're going to trade our plan and plan our trade. I need to take a deep breath. And take a drink of coffee. Hey, monkey, how do you pull those watch lists up on the right like that? Yeah, you take it from the left-hand side. You pull that part out and you detach gadget. And then I put them there. I've made a video on how to set up your thinkorswim just like mine if you want to set it up like this. There's AYTU also. I, I should have put down AYTU and HTBX also. I made a video on how to set your chart up just like mine. I never took my drink of coffee. Yeah, AYTU is at $1.81. That one's so sketchy and so weird. It does such weird movements. Mm -mm -mm, man. So let's go. Let's see what's going to happen. So there's OPGN. Remember that one from yesterday? That was a good one, man. AYTU. So we're going to follow the volume. Right now, what I'm seeing moving is OPGN is trying to get up. Maybe if it gets above the $4. There's AYTU and AIM. Even though AIM has a little bit of low volume, I think today could be the day. Oh, I need to take this out of there. Remove. Okay, we have about one minute until the market opens. I don't really trust the market today, but I'm going to do the best I can. If I see my setup, I'm jumping right in there. You are right, monkey. Something is definitely not right with AYTU. Somebody moves that thing. They, they're just collecting their money in and out. They're pushing it wherever they want, man. If you have enough money, you can do anything you want. You can do anything you want, man. That's what we're coming to get our money. HTBX looking pretty good. Yeah, HTBX. I have a daily support resistance line in HTBX at 65 cents. It may be doing a shake and shutter, a shake and shutter washout right there. Boom, right there. So we have about 10 seconds. We're going to follow the volume. Am I missing anything? CODX. 
C-O-D-X, C-E-T-X, C-E-T-X may be the stock. So the market's going to open. Ding, 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 ding. The market is open. The market is open. So here's uh, how many? 32 to 3, 30 shares. F-L-G-T, 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 man, F-L-G-T. FLGT is moving right now, and, and this one has super sketchy volume. OPGN is pushing also, so there's FLGT and uh, uh, OPGN is pushing up a little bit. AYTU, I'm not sure about that one, and there's uh, AIM, I wasn't sure either. Oh, this is this one in a halt, or what's going on right here? What is happening? Oh, man, CODX is coming down to the $12.00. The twelve dollars, man. C O D X. I'm I'm gonna get out of here and bum bum bum. I bought five shares of C O D X at twelve twenty three. At twelve twenty three, I bought uh I bought some shares of C O D X at twelve twenty three. Maybe it's just coming down. Twelve twenty three. Twelve twenty three. Boom, boom, boom. Oh man, I didn't get out 1223. There we go. Boom, 1223, CODX. I was looking for the $12. That's a good little trade right there. Good little scalp trade. If you bought some more shares, maybe hold it up over the $13. But me, I just couldn't do it right there. $12, CODX is a good one. Breaking the rules already. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I, 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 I said I was just going to take little share size on this. So I just wanted to do that. So I got, I got a pretty good uh, trade. OPGN is moving. And FLGT, I don't know what's going on with that. Is that in a halt? FLGT. And there's APRN. I'm probably not going to trade that one. Man, I wish I would have stayed in this one, but I just wanted to take a, a I won't trade in the first three minutes. I, I changed that rule. I changed that rule. I will trade the first. I, I forgot I said that again. OPGN, look at this, $13. I would start taking your next profit if you got in where I did. I would take some more profit right here at $13. My next profit target would be up towards the 1340s, 1350s, 1340s, 1350s, boom. I have 32 shares, CCL, oh man. Look at OPGN is pushing right now. OPGN is pushing also. I need to get over to OPGN. Look at this thing. Oh man, I really messed up on this one. This one's going into a halt. OPGN is halted. Halted. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. It looked like it was halted. Oh, it is halted. OPGN is halted, man. OPGN halted. That was a good one. I'm going to go back over to CODX for a little bit. Here we go. CODX. Let's go, man. I have 32 shares. Why don't you keep saying stuff you don't follow? I forgot. I, I changed that rule a little while ago on uh, I will trade the first minute. It all depends. It just depends. If I if I see my open washout boom, I have to I have to try to take a shot because that's a good entry. Some I, I know MBRX is pushing a little bit. It's up to 72 cents, 73 cents MBRX. So MBRX is going, man, this was a good one here, man, MBRX, JNUG, JHL says, JNUG, thank you guys for hanging out. So OPGN is in a halt. I'm not sure if FLGT must be in a halt. And MBRX is all the way up to 76 cents, 76 cents right there. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. MBRX. Man, you guys were right about MBRX. A little shake and shudder right there, man. INO is also pushing. AIM. AIM is pushing too. AIM. AIM. Man, uh, CODX is a little bit sketchy for me to trade, but uh, I... I'm just trying to keep my eye on the market. Uh, the reason I'm not going over to MBRX, I have a hard time trading those sub dollar stocks. It's just kind of hard for me to trade a stock underneath a dollar, but it definitely is moving and it definitely is going. 
So there we go. Look at APRN. Also, look at this one. Came right down to the five dollars. Went straight up. Man, this one's so sketch. I, I, I. It's not sketchy. It's actually a super good move. I N O is moving straight on up to the moon. Also, I N O. Man, a lot of these stocks, man, are really moving right now. APRN. Look at this thing, man. Look at that. APRN. <laughs> Uh, hopefully somebody caught a hold of this man there there's a whole bunch of stuff mbr there's so many stocks moving right now there's ino uh, or not really a lot ino and aprn and aim man aim has such low volume i can't i can't just take this trade man aim aim Man, what's going to happen? Over this 240s, the 250s, I'm going to get back over to OPGN just for the market open. Man, I I wish I would have took this. I'm going to wait for this to get over the 240s, maybe come back and use 250 as support a little bit, and then maybe get in. But right now, I'm going to go right here to OPGN. OPGN. Boom. APRN moved from yesterday. Paul DeBald, you had a great eye on this one. A great eye. So what am I looking for on this one? It's kind of right up towards that resistance right here a little bit on OPGN. But uh, man, I'm, I don't know, man. WTRH is up over the dollar now. There's a few stocks moving. It, it's hard to get a hold. We're going to make it. WTRHG Santi says, yes, WTRH is at, right at the dollar right there. 99 cents a dollar. It pushed over the dollar. So we're going to see. We'll see what happens. Man, I thought CODX is coming back down to that $12. I, I was thinking about picking it back up right there, but I'm just not real sure. Not sure. I want to be patient in the stock market. And I'm going to wait for uh, wait for OPGN. And AIM, if it gets up over that 240, the 250, maybe I'll try to get in there. But maybe a little bit late right there and to get in. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. J-Nug, what a rip. Zona J says, J-Nug, what a rip. Man, those, yeah, that would be nice to trade that. But... I'm going to stick with my low float, small cap, basically penny stocks. Been flipping J-Nug since 350. <laughs> good job, man. Good job. AIM, if you could have got in, AIM looked like a good one. I thought today was the day for AIM, and it looks like it may be moving today. I'm just sitting here with OPG and trying to figure out what... Oh, I need to put my trade up. I took a trade. I forgot to put it up. Boom. There we go. I got it. Here it is. It's open. OPGN is open. So $4, $4, $4.30, $4. Four dollars, four dollars, four thirty, four dollars. Bum bum bum. Bum four forty six. I got filled at four forty six, man. Four forty six for that quick push up. Four forty six. Four forty six. Boom. I sold ten of my shares. Oh. Boom. <laughs> 446 all the way up to 480 right there. All the way up to 480. Maybe hold it for the push of five. You probably could hold it for the push of five right there. Keep it going. Boom. Get it going, man. It's going. It's going. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Monkey, don't forget to put your trade. I know. I forgot. I'll put my second trade up. I took two trades today. One on CODX. And one on OPG and look at this thing, man. There was a good little trade. Look at it. it could push right over five dollars. Oh, right over five dollars would be a good another profit target if you're still holding this, man. Get it, man. You guys got it. You guys got it. Hold on. Hold on to the Bronco, man. Hold on to the Bronco. Ride that ride, man, as far as you can. <laughs> Progress has been made. Boom, boom, boom. Mastro, I, I'm i green on the day. I made about 10 bucks again. Should I sell CCL and cut lot Dion Hernandez? I don't know. I day trade the stock market. I don't know if you're looking into a swing trade, a day trade, or what. 
monkey seems to be scalping. Yes, I scalp the market. That's my that's my technique. That's how I do it. I, I try to hold on a piece for a little bit longer, but you guys see sometimes if it gets close enough to my ultimate profit target, which was up by $5, I'll just take the whole thing right there. Why not just take the whole thing? You know, I can always look to get back in. I can always seem to get back in right there. So that's what I'm trying to do. APRN is up over six dollars right there. Morning all three. Some good opportunities. There's some good opportunities out here. Some really good opportunities. You're absolutely correct about that. Uh, absolutely correct, man. Four fifties. Four fifties. I'm going to try a. Oh man, I bought thirty shares. I meant to buy. I, I meant to buy ten shares at four fifty. At 450, oh my gosh, 450. Uh oh, 450. Bum, bum, bum. Four forty, four forty four. What's going on here? Four fifty, four fifty. Four fifty seven. Man, what did I do? I, I meant to buy ten shares right there, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh my gosh. It's okay right there. Four forty. I, I bought thirty shares at four fifty three. At four fifty three I bought uh fifty shares right there. Fifty shares, four fifty three. Four fifty three. Come on, man. Bum bum bum. Get up there. Get up there. Four fifty three. Come on. Four thirty two. Get up there, get up there, 450, 450. Sorry, man, I'm trying to concentrate right here. Boom, 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 450, 450. Boom. 450, come on. Get up there. Okay, four forty seven. Four forty six, four forty eight. Get up there, man. Get up there. Four fifty five. I'm going I'm I got out of a few more shares just to be careful. I'm gonna to try to hold the next up to four eighty up there. Man, I, I messed up right there. I how, how is my account down is the thing. I, I don't know how it went down when I was actually up. What did I do? I put my shares at 453. Six dollars four forty. Four thirty nine, four thirty nine, four forty, four thirty six. I got out. I got out. I had to get out right there. I I kind of messed up right there. Oh man, I got out right at the bottom. <laughs> oh man, I couldn't do it. I could not do it, man. Oh man, I messed that one up. It, it It's just consolidating right there. I, I had nothing to worry about, but I wanted to buy 10 shares at the 450s and then add to my position if I could. But then when I had so many shares in there, I kind of freaked myself out. Oh well, your entry was wrong. Yeah, it was, it was my entry, my entry was good. It's just I bought 30 shares. I wanted to buy 10 shares 
and then add to my position if it came down to the 420s down there add one time and then get my entry back up towards the 450s would be my profit target you know what i mean but i i never got i i didn't have a chance to let my trade play out and i wasn't looking for the vwap bounce really really quickly but if it happened to do that i was okay with that but look at this thing go look at and that was i i just wasn't confident because i didn't i didn't play the trade how i wanted so it threw me out of whack right there it definitely threw me out of whack but it's fine it's fine aytu aytu is at a dollar 73 that one's so weird and sketchy to me Look at APRN is at 650s now. This thing never, I don't understand what's going on with that one. Good morning, what ticker are you looking at? Just got filled on CODX, 1,000 shares, CODX. Man, good job. If it, the, That's a great spot, the 1150s, and then your next spot. Oh man, that is a pretty good spot right there. Look at this thing. Look, I should have been more patient. I should have waited for my entry, my exit, but... I wasn't some sometimes when my entry's a little high I already had a 30 cent risk right off the top look at here we go some of you guys that are more patient there you go that's how you take your trades that's a beautiful good trade right there look at that would have been a beautiful beautiful good trade monkey get long APRM big buyers pushing it up high short flow yes I I, I APRN I don't understand it it is a good one I could take it for a little bit of a day trade I like OPGN myself I, I like OPGN I didn't even see APRN going up this morning I thought it was coming right on down I wanted to look at RAD. RAD was at a short sell point right where it was. I, I don't know where RAD is right now, but anyways, I got to look at that real quick. RAD, RAD, look at that, man. Ah, oh, come on, get in there. RAD, right at the market open. Okay, uh, OPGN, OPGN. Boom, boom, boom. Four thirty six. I bought ten shares at four thirty six for just a quick little range trade. Four thirty six to four fifty three. I'll take that right there. Or four forty eight. Four thirty six to four forty eight. I'll take that little trade right there, just to try to get some money. If it ends up coming down to four dollars, I'll, I'll add some more shares right there at four dollars. So I just want to try to buy at the bottom of this range for a little bit of a range trade right there. You know what I mean? Might as well buy for a little bit of a range trade. If it doesn't work out, that's okay. But I'm just taking a little range, 436 to 448. Is it going to get up there? Man, I should have put it at 447. Oh, man, so I, I never got filled. 440, 440. Oh, man, I, that's the trade I was looking for right there, that 436 to 448, 447. Oh, well, I never got filled right there. CODX, great trade. Whoever took that at 1150, that was a that was a great spot to get in on CODX, man. CODX right there. Boom. 438, 438. Come on, get up there. Um, so OPG at Monkey, can you change, uh, change your notice to the going? My purchase orders are your notice and it's getting me every time <laughs> man i i i keep uh i keep taking my look at that it came right up to my profit target but it did not get me filled look it looks like people are still trying to buy this thing up a little bit right here so it's probably is gonna at least push to the 450s sorry you guys remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade codx was a beautiful stock right there beautiful 1150s first entry eleven dollars man that there was there's a lot of money on a lot of money on CODX a lot a lot of money man that was a good one good good one OPGN waiting for 420 yeah 420 looks like a good spot too I'm just I was trying to take a little range scalp trade but I kind of I kind of got caught right there I kind we'll see what happens
447, 444. Come on, get up there. Get up there, 440. Man, this thing will not, it does not want to touch my order up there. Let, let me just sell five shares up there. 440, 446, 446. Okay, right there, 446. I'm going to try to hold this a little bit longer. I'm going to hold my next piece up towards the 480s or something. If it goes up there, maybe it's just coming down the rest of the day. Who really knows? But if you guys can afford to trade CODX, it looks like a good, good uh, stock right there. CODX, man. It's up over that 1192. I have a daily support resistance line on CODX at 1192. So now it's up over the $12, but that 9 EMA, who, who knows what's going to happen? Come on, get up there, man. 36 38 a dollar 36 what is going to happen remember opgn that one day it would curl around and it pushed all the way up to 545 look at that from all the way down at three dollars who knows maybe people are expecting that to happen mbrx if you trade a sub dollar stock that one looks good if you trade a sub dollar stock that one looks good too. Man, what is happening here? CODX. CODX. MBRX took off. It's at 72 cents. It doesn't have that big a range. That's the problem with those. Sometimes you have to size in so big. You know what I mean? You have to take such a big size right there. Four twenty six, four twenty five, four twenty three. We'll see what happens here. Four twenty three, four twenty three. Man, if you say KP, if you subbed. <laughs> Killian, stop, man. You can't be doing that, man. You can't be putting that. Hey, bro, <laughs> a good job. If you uh, subscribe to my channel, thank you, man. Uh, that means a lot. If you subscribe to my channel, man, you just killed the chat, man. Man, what is happening here with this thing? This thing's just grinding down. You see these grind downs like this? Sometimes these get you bad. These, oh, look at now, now. Something's getting ready to happen right now. It's either going to drop like a rock. Man, look at that. I'm trying to buy uh, some more shares right there at four dollars at four twelve. I'm putting a limit order out there. I should have just bought my uh, range order right there. APRN about to halt, man. You guys, APRN is all the way up at seven thirty seven now. That is incredible. If you guys are looking at a stock APRN, let's go look at it real quick. Look at this thing. Man, look at that trade right there. A beautiful trade off the 630s. I have a daily support resistance line right at 630. Man, th there were a lot of good trades on this one. I'm, I'm going to stay with OPGN though, but if you are looking for a stock, I'm, I'm kind of getting caught up with OPGN. It is coming down. I'm getting caught in one of these trades I don't like to be in, but it's still sticking to my game plan. If it can uh, hang above the $4 or 390s, it would be okay for me so anyways i'm going to get back over there but look at aprn aprn man that thing is incredible incredible man incredible man look at this thing go so here we go aprn this could be ready to short after next blast we'll see this could be the top right there at 767 767 i'm kind of hoping this goes down but look at that you could try try to take a trade right there at seven dollars look at all the way up to 730 now man i'm probably on the whole wrong stock right there 
I was on the whole wrong stock. I need to get back over to OPG. And look at that. Buy the dip, sell the rip. That's exactly what you call that. Buy the dip, sell the rip. This thing never stops, never gives up, never surrenders, man. Never stops, never surrenders. So let's hang. Let's let's take it easy. Things are looking okay. We're okay. We're going to make it. We're going to survive. OPGN kind of caught me good right there, but we'll see. It looks like it could curl around. Maybe it's still going to come down. Maybe it's coming down the rest of the day, but we'll have to see. So we'll see if they're done messing around with OPGN. Man, APRN, look at that. Good trade right there. Man, that was a great trade right there. Look at that. That was so long. That was perfect. That was a perfect entry right there. I got to get back over here. OPGN. OPGN. Man, APRN, man, is a monster. APRN. Let me put this up there. Sorry for repeating myself, but I, I have, I, uh, I got to keep saying these stocks names or I won't, uh, I won't know. So it's doing a five minute pullback. Basically, APRN is doing like a five minute uh, pullback, but that's 767 right there. Who knows? Oh, man. 436, 436. What is going to happen here? 437. This thing is just looking so heavy right here. In AYTU at a dollar sixty-three. I'm pulling for you. Wilton Forbes, good to see you, man. Eight dollars next spot. Paul DeBald called this, man. Paul DeBald called this. Oh god, XD APRN about to halt. Look at that thing. That thing is a monster, man. APRN, who would have thought? I never would have thought that in a million years. That's the stock market. It can really, really surprise you. It really, really can. The SPY is dumping. Oh, man, the SPY is dumping. It's down 0.33 per... Oh, man, that's not a good sign, man. So that's good for some of these coronavirus stocks, maybe. 24, man, I should have added. I'm never brave enough to add to my share size. I never am brave enough. I could have added at 410, 412, 412, 22, 32. Man, that would have been a good one. 26 would have been my average then, and that would have been a perfect, nice trade right there. APRN, entry idea, 751. Uh, Willie says, uh, or SG Christensen, APRN, maybe at 751, entry idea. Looking good, man. Looking good. 720 to 736. 736. Man, what is going to happen with this thing? 736. APRN is blue apron. They ship meals to you. Oh, oh my God. I didn't, I, I knew that I was, I knew it was Blue Apron and I, I did not put the pieces. I didn't even glance at it. I just said, no, this has nothing to do with the coronavirus, but it does. It does in a roundabout way. They ship meals to you. They can ship meals to, oh my gosh, that, that is a total just fly by over my head right there. What, uh, man, that is the first, Ron Rhea, good, great look, man, great, great look on that thing, great, great, great look, ah, oh, Tay Lopez recently invested on APRN, Diago, you guys know the situation, that is a good, good stock right there, look at 637, look at APRN, APRN, Man, APRN, I got to stay with OPGN, but APRN is doing the drop, fake, and pop, boom. The drop, fake, and pop, boom right there. The drop, fake, and pop, boom. Uh, I'm going to try to get out some of my shares right here if it can get up through there. Man, APRN, I, I think it's in a halt. It's in a halt, isn't it? APRN is halted, I think, because a lot of buyers are coming in right there. If this thing gets below uh, 323, 320, or 423, boom, 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 come on, get up there, get up there, 36, 38, come on, get going, get going, 423.
Man. What is going to happen? Here we go. No, it's going to drop after open, then get in. I know. I'm going to get over there after I get out of this trade. I'm going to get out of this trade. Man, come on. OPG end is not picking a direction, man. Is not picking a direction. It's just hanging. What is happening? 427. It looks like it's trying to do the VWAP uh, reject. A lot of people will try to short sell there probably. And... Thirty-eight, forty. 40, come on, get in there, 36, okay, I, I, I got out for five of my shares, I did not want to turn this into a losing trade, so I, I got out for some of my shares right there. Now I'm going to keep a hard stop in there, 23. There we go. So th that worked out a lot better than I thought. Man, I wish I would have added. This would have been a great green trade right there if I would have added to my position. Good morning, monkey feeling sick today. Not going to trade much. Wilton Forbes, I hear you, man. I hear you. Look at CODX. Whoever was calling that off that 1150s before, that are perfect. Now I think $11 may be a good shot right there. 11.22 or 4.22. Boom, boom, boom. Man, APRN, HTBX is coming up a little bit. HTBX is coming up. So now I'm five shares in. What is going? I'm thinking around 620 APRN. Yeah, I'm going to get over to APRN. It's looking pretty good right there. I think I'm going to get over there. Man, this thing, it, it looks like this should curl around, but I, man, I don't know. I only have five shares right there. I wanted to get Twenty-nine, thirty, twenty-nine. I'm going to get out for a loser on this. That's a losing trade right there. I, it, it's looking kind of weak to me, but it still could curl around. This one could surprise you. So I'm going to take a. I'm going to take a red trade on that. It was basically a break-even trade, but I'm going to call it a red trade. I, I just don't, I don't like it. If I would have added to my position like I was supposed to down here at the 415. Then I would have a 426 average and then I could have took my first profit at 436 and then I would have been just fine in this trade. But I did not follow my plan. I had my plan. I just didn't execute it. Man, ha ha ha, fell. Lenny Lee says fell, man. <laughs> that was a fail. But yeah, it was looking a little weak right there. So I got out. It still could go up easily though. This one has a history. Look at it. If you draw this trend line right here, look at this trend line. APRN, is that one open? It's getting ready to open. I got to get over there. But anyways, let's draw this trend line real quick. APRN, APRN, boom, right there. I, I, I think this is it. I'm not sure. That, that bottom one probably isn't it. Okay, remove drawing. I'm going over to APRN, APRN, APRN. Let's see what's happening. $6, 6 to $10 stock. I will buy 20 shares on this. 20 shares. So let's go, man. Ha, ha, ha. Lenny Hill says, <laughs> long rope. Yeah, I've been growing my account slowly. So I grew my account today. How much did I grow my account today? I grew my account only $8 today so far. Seven, $8. Because I'm counting my pre-market trades, I, I got a dollar also. So we'll see. Boom. Let's go. Let's see what's moving. CODX is at 1150. You could try it one more time at the 1150 area for the push up to 12 dollars. 
50 cents with a tight risk right there. Use probably the 11.20 as your risk. Good risk to reward on CODX, but it's coming down so far. Do you think it's really going to turn around? We're, we, who's going to know? <laughs> Lenny Hill, ha ha ha, APRN, wait for the panic to be over. Let me start with 10 shares then. 10 shares, I, I bought at 644. Boom, boom, boom. What is going on? Boom, right there, 10 shares. I bought 10 shares at 644 and I sold for basically 20 cent profit right there. There's another green trade. One, two, three, four, five. A green trade right there, boom. Two, three, four. Oh, wait, let, let me see. Uh, okay, yeah, fifth trade, green trades. Fifth, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Wilton Forbes, long rope. Uh, Wilton Forbes, you need to wait on two positive days for gold and silver so far down. By the time you got to pause, you would lose a lot right now. How's my little wolf of Wall Street? Hello. I'm the monkey, man. Trading monkey is in the house, man. Hello, one, two, three, two. I fiction. I, I'm doing good. I made 10 bucks today again. $10 is my daily goal for the day right now during this tough time in the stock market. So anyways, I took that little trade right there. A lot of buyers were coming in, so there was a good trade. Look at the volume. I could have traded 5,000 shares, I bet, on this stock right here. As soon as my account grows a little bit more, I definitely could do that. Trading monkey, more like broke monkey. <laughs> Hello, one, two, three. Yeah, a broke monkey, but I'm growing each and every day, little by little. You guys know I'm not a rich man. I do the best I can each and every day. That's about it. That's all I can do. I'm learning how to day trade stocks at the end of this journey. Where else in the world can you learn something? Maybe it takes you five years time. But at the end of those five years, if you could earn if you could earn two thousand dollars a day, would you do it, man? A <laughs> five hundred dollars, boom! Hi there. Do you have any insights into how the futures market on rope is traveling? <laughs> Looks like a nice long one, in my opinion. I, I'm not sure. There's VXRT is moving a little bit, also. So look at this. VXRT is moving. There's APRN still. APRN. Look at this. What is gonna happen? So APRN, there's VXRT. I didn't even notice this one too much right there. There's CODX. Hopefully some of you guys took that from the 1150. I would take my first profit up towards the $12, probably 1190. I would probably take my first profit at 1190 right there. JNUG to the moon, UNFI, good grinder. JNUG investors are going to gold. So let's look around, see what's happening here. Man, CODX was another another good one. There's DC, DECN also right here. Look at this one, DECN. There's a few different stocks moving in the stock market. Definitely a few stocks moving. This one is way too, uh, it's a uh, way too low for me, but MBRX, nope. MBRX, let's see what else is moving. Day trading live every single day. Day trading the stock market. OPGN to the moon. OPGN tied a rope to my neck and took me back to earth. Yeah, you. how I trade the stock market. Oh man, look at this again. Look at this. Oh man, I, I, I missed my entry. Look at that little trade right there. From that 640s to the 670s, first profit target right there. Look at this thing. It's looking good. APRN is moving good today. It's loosened up today. Can you tell that? Yesterday on APRN, it was so tight. Today, it's really loosened up and is trading like the float it is. APRN only has an 8 million float according to Yahoo Finance. Today, it's really started moving a little bit looser in the situation. VXRT, for those who like that, yeah, I don't really trade VXRT. That thing gets me all the time. Sometimes, I, I, I'm not going to count it out, though. Definitely, I'm not going to count it out. But let's see what's going on here. So, do I have all my trades in there? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So, 
Let's see. Man, look at this thing go. Look at this. Hopefully, look at that. Some of you guys are more patient than I am. A good trade. So CODX is at your profit target. I would take your first profit there. And if you want to hold it up, it could hit 13. It could go to 14 again. CODX is a good one. APRN, the home delivery food. Home delivery, the home delivery food, man, that was a, so good. What a great look on this. I was, I never even looked it up. I just said, okay, it's Blue Apron. I, I, oh man, I really misplayed this one. I missed this one straight out of the gate, man. VXRT, mic is broken. <laughs> My mic shouldn't be broken, man. It's on. Young me, mic broken. MIC, MIC, look at this, man. We are going to the moon. We are going parabolic. I made 10 bucks today, I believe, again. Yeah, I made $10, exactly. I made exactly 10 bucks today again. I could start having $20 days. I just need to be more confident in myself. Like that trade with uh, OPGN, that was a good green scalp trade for me with one add to it. On this trade, I should have just been more confident. I should have added one more time right there by the support. Look at this consolidation. Has daily support. It's going up all the way to 740s probably at least. It's getting ready to set up for a trade that I sometimes take. So if it gets over the $7, comes back and use $7 as support and kind of rests up here for two or three minutes, I'm going to take that trade from $7 up towards 750 but we're going to have to see if it's going to do it. We'll, we'll see. Robin Hood, Paul DeVault, Robin Hood, and uh, FLGT had an amazing entry. That thing has such weird volume to me. FLGT, just such weird volume. I can't. 689, 689. Boom, boom, boom. Is this going to be the lower high? Either it's going to make a lower high right here or it's going to get... I kind of wanted it up over $7, but it is pulling right into the support right here. I'm getting in at 688 right there. I'm going to keep my, my stop pretty tight at 272 or 672 right there. It could come all the way back down to the VWAP also. But I just don't want to miss out on this. I just don't want to miss out for the pushover $7 up to $7.03. Up to $7.03, I'll take my first profit for that one. $7.03 is my first profit target. Come on, get up there. $6.99, $6.99, break $7, man. $7, there we go. I sold some of my shares right there. $7, I'm putting my stop at break even on my other shares. 688, 688, 688. I'm putting my stop at break even. Come on, get up to 750. 750, I'll sell some more at 738, 748. I'll sell the rest of my shares right there. 738, 730, or maybe right here, 717. Boom, 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 boom. Man, perfect little pullback trade. That's a perfect pullback trade right there. Man, that's a good trade right there, man. That's a beautiful one. Beautiful, beautiful trade right there. AYTU, is the, it's being messed with so hard. AYTU is being super messed with. Look at that trade right there. That perfect pullback, perfect pullback. Boom, Astro. Good job, man. That's a good little trade right there. A good little trade with a good range on it. APRN. Thank you, Paul DeBald. Paul DeBald, thank you for showing this, this, this stock. What a day, APRN. A monster. Zona J, I know you took it down here in the bottom, in the bottom of the ditch down there. I know you got it, man. And there was some more good trades. Hopefully this thing, this is the trade I was looking for to rest here by the $7 for maybe two minutes right here. And then I was thinking about getting in that one. We'll have to see. Boom, boom, boom. A-G-R-A. -A. Paul DeVault, you're, you're killing it, man. You're making the live stream lots of money on this stock. You you mentioned it. You're first in line out there. Thank you, man. That means a lot. You've been calling. VXRT is going up. So if you do trade VXRT, it's up towards $1.90. 
a dollar ninety right now. VXRT is so that that one's moving around pretty good right there. VXRT, man, I gotta put that one up on a chart. I'm not gonna trade it, but I'm gonna look at it. VXRT, a monster, man, did a great, great breakout right there. Great, great breakout, man. Monkey, why do you have so much patience going down but not going up? Because on, on the way down, I, I know where I'm going to add to my position. But if I'm going to add on the way down, I'm still going to scalp on the way up. It, it actually is. I, I do the same thing both directions right there. VXRT, VXRT. VXRT is pushing super hard, man. VXRT. It, it's just the only reason it looks like I have patience on the downside is because sometimes I'm looking to add to my position, but you would see me sell pretty early if I would have added anyway. On OPGN, I would have sold at 330 or at 436 if I would have added at 412 because I would have had a three or what four or it was somewhere around that area anyway. Boom, but that's what I do. I know, Francis Dean, I, I know, I need to learn. Well, as I get bigger share size, I'll be able to piece out a lot better. You know what I mean? I won't have to do it in like two steps. I'm only trading with very small share size, so I have to, I, I it's basically I just do one, two. You know what I mean? I step out of it just super quickly like that. I, I know, Francis Dean, you're right. Six twenty to seven dollars. Zona J got six twenty to seven dollars. Look at that, Zona J. You are killing the market, man. We are killing the market. The monkey army so strong. We're killing the market. If you have not subscribed to the channel, you might as well subscribe to the channel. This live stream's being ran like no other live stream. There's gonna be money laying all over the place. Really, I'm gonna spread it out. We're gonna do. I can't make no promises, and I don't want you to subscribe just for that reason, but. Anyways, if you want to subscribe, subscribe, but I, I have a good look for our future for us. I'm trying to step us up. The monkey army, I'm trying to bring us up, man. I really, truly am the best I can, but we are doing this. Come on, monkey, don't forget to put up. Oh, I forgot my neck, my trade. I forgot. Thank you, man. I just forgot that trade. What Was that just one more? Did I take two? Oh, I took two green trades. I forgot. I, I got to do my next trade. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. Okay. Oh, thanks, man. I totally spaced that off. I totally spaced that off. Thank you. Oh, man. I have six, seven. So I have one more trade today is about it. I tried to get all my trades in there before 11 o'clock. So VXRT is doing a pullback. I have a daily support resistance line on VXRT around $1.76. Sometimes on those little pullbacks, it is way, way stretched out. I will try to get in and I will add to my position down to my daily support resistance. There, there, oh man, look at this, man. This is looking good. Now, now if it breaks over this 725, 726 area, it's probably going to have room right to the 750s for a little breakout scalp. But it's getting kind of stretched out right there. Who knows? Remember to trade your own plan. Plan your own trade. I don't take that sort of trade, that little breakout into that. Sometimes I do, but not when it's this stretched out like that. But, man, I'm, I'm going to test it. I'm not going to take this in real life. But 726 to about 738, I would look to be looking for it. Welcome to the, uh, oh, I thought someone subscribed to the channel. I thought I heard something in my ear, man. I was going to say that out loud. Killing J-Nug, boom, Chase, 55. Good job, man. Good, good job. Oh, this thing's resting a little bit more. Look at that trend line. If you draw that trend line right here, this is looking pretty good. Looking good. Looking good, man. Oh, man, look how tight this thing's getting. Let's draw the bottom trend line also. I'm trying to keep my eyes out in the market, see what else is moving here. VXRT. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to dumb down my share size. I'm going to take a couple shares right here at 660. 
At 668, I bought five shares at 668. I'm just looking for it to come back up towards seven dollars, just in that little tiny range. But this stock has such good range. And if it comes down to 650, I'm gonna add five more shares. Down by 650, I will try to add five more shares to this and we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna look for up towards 750 this time. But we'll see what happens. 3,000 shares. 56 will be my entrance on HTBX. Where is my HTBX? Oh, it's at 58 cents right there. 58, man. 58. Two shares. Two shares. 68, 78, 88, 88. I'll try to get 20 cents on two of my shares here. I'll sell two of my shares at 88 for a 20 cent profit. And then when I get, and then I'm going to hold the rest up for this little breakout right here above the 737s. So hopefully it gets above 737 right there. Boom, boom, boom. I sold two of my shares right there. I have three shares left. We'll see what happens. Your 640 entry looking good now on APR. And <laughs> yep, you are right about that, man. You are right. Cherry Monkey, what is the shake and shudder and the open washout boom? Uh, it's just strategies I've came up with myself. Strategies I've came up with on my uh on my trading and what uh, the shake and shudder is just like it doesn't it doesn't go up or down for the first couple minutes. It just shake and shudders right there for the, like the first minute and then it starts catching its feet and going right up. But a shake and shudder has to be when the stock is going down in the pre-market, basically, or staying about even. And my open washout boom is when a stock opens in the stock market, it drops down to a support level. The volume's looking really good, and that's the open washout boom for that right up into that resistance spot. So those are the trades I try to take. I'm, I'm meaning for an oh another try for Paul de Bald. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I sorry. Sometimes I get mixed up. I just agreed with you. Sorry, man. I've been trying to clean myself up and not just agree to everything, anything and everything that's happening around here. Thank you for subscribing, Agri Tech Trends. You came to the right place. You couldn't uh, pick a better live stream. What you're seeing from your very eyes. My one minute chart. Five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two, time and sales is my actual share where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Hey monkey, I'm having one problem, how to take profit. I always take my profit, I always scalp my profit. Taking profit is not my strong suit. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I Taking profit is never my strong suit. I'm, I'm working on it, but it's just not really, uh, not really working for me too well. 662. What's the low of this candle? The low of this candle, 673. 673, 668. I'm working on it though, but you guys know I always take profits too early. That's one of the things I do. How to get off. <laughs> How to get 668. Man, this is looking a little weak to me right here. A little weak. I may look to re-enter this, but I'm in at 668. 668. 10 shares. I'm thinking about adding one time to my position right here, but I'm I may wait for it to try to come down a little bit further. 662. Oh man. 662. Man, what a good one right there. VXRT did a pullback. It it has okay range right now. It has super okay range. Three shares, 10 shares. Let's see what's happening. Starting to tighten up. Yes, look at APRN. Is it going to fall to the ground or is it going to go to the moon? It's starting to tighten up. That's why I like to buy off support even if it breaks down. Nine times out of 10 or no, like 50% of the time, it's going to go up. So if you have to correct risk management, you're going to make money over time. And that's what I'm trying to do is just do my money making over time. GNPX. Oh, man. What's GNPX doing? GNPX. There's WTRH, DECN, VXRT. BTU, look at BTU started moving a little bit. BTU, look at this one. Peabody Energy went straight on up, man. BTU, what, what's uh, APRN? Here we go. What is happening here? 
I am learning pretty good, but I'm still struggling. Yeah, I'm kind of struggling. I've learned to accept the fact that my emotions don't handle holding for a long periods of time. And, and that works in my benefit, actually, because I just don't, I think just b having your money out in low float small cap stocks, the longer you have your money out there, the, the more risk you're putting into it. So I like to limit that risk and I like to get my profits so I'm okay with that. Then I'll always try to hold a little piece on up for that bigger move. But a lot of times I still don't do that correctly. You guys see me just taking profit, profit, profit. When I take one profit, I don't even wait another second. I just take profit again and again and again. So I need to, I need to learn to uh, not do that. I need to learn to do that. Man, I, I'm spacing off today a lot, man. I, I am going. Here we go. What's going to happen? We got this, man. So HTBX, that was a great entry down there, it looks like. Right down there, what you were talking about, 659. Man, this thing may drop like a rock right here. 631. What is happening? So I, I see I have a daily support resistance line at 637, right around the 637 spot. So I'm just waiting to see what's going to kind of happen down here. Is it going to come down and get bought up real quick? Keep it that way, man. Take profits unlike me. Yes, I try to take profits real quick. I, I, I don't like to put myself so much risk out in the market. And I think just being in the market on day trading low flow small cap stock is going to put you at risk. It just adds on a little bit of risk to each trade. So the less time you can stay in the market, probably the better overall. Or that's how I feel. But some of these trades we take, they end up just going up, up, and up. Look at CODX. I was in way down by $11. That thing went all the way to $15. I, I'm limiting myself some of these times. Look at this thing. This thing is, what is, oh, here it goes. 640, 640s. What is this? 629, 629. I still have three shares in this. I should have sold those at break even right there. 630s. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, 630s, 630s right here. It needs to make a higher low. See this low right there? I'm hoping it stays above this. Six thirty eight, six thirty six, six thirty six, six thirty nine. Man, let me see six thirty six one more time. If I could see oh there it is. 636. This may just be coming down the rest of the day now, too, though. This thing finally might have seen its top right here. So it, it's just, I'm not sure what's going to happen to this. This this is not looking good, though. This is not looking good to me. It looks like it may be, this could be the backside of the move right now. There's VXRT. VXRT is at my daily support resistance line. I, VXRT, VXRT, boom. Oh, there it is, VXRT. One to two, 50 shares. VXRT, man, I, I need to, APRN is dropping like a rock. I need to get out of that trade, man. VXRT. VXRT. Three forty-seven, three forty. Oh, VXRT still dropping a little bit right down into the support level. That one seventy-two right there. Man, what am I doing here? Look at this. This thing is dropping like a rock, man. I didn't even get out of my trade. I need to get out. Okay. 
come on. 610, 604. There. I got out at 610. That is a horrible losing trade. I should have never let my trade go that far, man. I let it go way, way, way too far. There goes OPGN is starting to push back up. OPGN is pushing up. Seven, eight, red trade. Boom. Okay, there we go. Oh, man, I can't believe that. That is a, probably a pretty good spot to scoop it up for a little move, but OPGN is uh, getting ready to push. OPGN, man, APRN. Say uh, OPGN, I bought 30 shares at 435. At 435, I bought 30 shares. For 30 shares, 435. I'm going to try to take profit right up towards this 450s. This could be the second time, so I probably messed up on this one also. 430, 435, 425. Man, that APRN really got me hard. Really, really got me. 435, 435, come on, man, get going. 435, OPGN, pop, yeah, OPGN, look at that, right down by the $4. I thought it was going to do a quick little move up towards the 458s up here, we'll have to see. 435, 434, come on. Four thirty-five. Actually, I'm not selling none of these, or am I? No. Nope. Four thirty-five. Four forty-five. Four forty-nine. Four thirty-five. Come on, get up there. Get going. Get going. Get going. Four fifties. 450s get up to the 450s APRN is I guess it's bouncing right off of man that thing dropped like a rock right there 450s 428 428 this is I am doing horrible trading look at that man that thing 428 428, 430, it looks like some people were taking profit and there was nobody to buy it back up right there. Not that many buyers right there, 428. 425, come on, man, get up there. 456, BH9, wow. Man, I'm ruining my day. That, that APRN trade, I, I'm very not happy with that one. Why did I let my th three shares? It was because it was three shares. So I said, okay, I'll just let it go down. I'll let it go down right there. 435. Boom. Okay. I, I feel a little bit better. I took a little profit right there, but I'm not calling that like a green trade. I want to hold this. I want to hold this one up a little bit longer. 438. What does it mean at the top of your stream where it says starting 15? That my starting balance, that's how much money I've actually added into my account is that is that first number and where my account balance is at right now from growing my account through day trading. That's where I'm currently sitting at right now. I updated every day that second number. So that's how much money I've actually put into my account. Six fifteen hundred and ten dollars, one thousand five hundred and ten dollars. And the other numbers, how much I've been growing the last five months. Actually, basically about the last five months of my trading. So let's go. What is happening here? I'm, try I'm trying to grow my account little by little by little. SNDE parabolic halted. Oh man, SNDE parabolic halted. Good look, uh, Sinar, or who said that? SN, uh, SN. ED, but, but BH Paw, I see it up there too. So if you guys want to trade a stock like that, whoa, 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 whoa.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, man. Come on. So S N D E is all is at 744. Boom. I'm done trading for the day. That's a red trade, but I cannot I cannot put it on there. I cannot get it. Man, I really messed up the last two trades on mine. I just was holding and hoping. Holding and hoping. So anyways, one third six thirty. So I grew my account eight dollars and or nine dollars today. I grew my account nine dollars. I was doing so good. That's okay. I started taking losing trades, and this is a great learning lesson here. So if you're taking winning trades and then you start losing, it's good. It's good to dumb down your share size and really not give back all your gains because obviously you are not seeing the market correctly. Look at VXRT. I almost took a shot right there. That's why I don't trade that. That one moves like AYTU. And I was going to say one other thing, but I can't remember what it was. Great work. I grew. Yeah, bad volume on SNDE. Let's go look at it real quick. Let's go look at it. So one thing we have to look for, I need to show you on, uh, on OPGN. This is the second test. This is basically the second test. So you know on the third test, see this? One, two, three. If it tests it one more time, uh, OPGN, it's probably going to go through the 460s, 470s up there. And if you just wanted to try to buy down here off support, this is probably a good spot to try to buy it down by the $4. And you have a tight risk if you buy down there. Another entry would be if it comes back up to that VWAP, gets over that VWAP, the third test. Looks like it could be the shot. So you got sometimes you have to keep trying it. So that's basically what I was trying right here, but I probably should have waited. Maybe it's just going to go down the rest of the day also. So if it does that, then you're just going to stop out and you will be done. You know what I mean? So maybe it's just going to keep coming down right now. And that's where. So you would probably short sell right where I was buying at actually. But oh well, let, let, let's look at SNDE. It's out of the halt right now. SNDE is out of the halt. Four forty two. I, I bought some shares at four forty two. Four forty two. I bought five shares at four forty two. I'm looking for the push back up to five eighty. Five eighty. Five eighty. Five eighty. Five eighty. Five eighty or five forty seven. I'll try to get out. Whoa, cancel. 480, 490. Boom, five bucks right there. Boom, boom, boom. Good job, man. I did it, man. I did it. I took a trade right there. That's another green trade. I only have eight trades, eight checkmark trades, so I can't really take them. I usually take between zero and 10 trades a day, and that's what I do. Man, look at that. I got filled right at the bottom. I hit the bottom, the very tippy bottom. What a beautiful trade. If I would have had more shares, I would have sold half my shares there. I would have sold another half up towards the 660s, and then I would have held my other half up over the $7. That's what I would have done. Look at the volume on this candle alone is 73000 so probably up to a thousand shares I would have been easy liquidity to get in and out even at probably up to 2000 shares would have been good liquidity in the stock like that perfect nice beautiful that's phenomenal <laughs> that is phenomenal man that is a phenomenal phenomenal trade right there that was I hit I tapped the very bottom of that candle, 440. It hit 440. That was my entry, $4.40. That is incredible, man. That's one good thing about Think or Swim. When you buy market and sell market, they don't try to rip you off, man. You know what I mean? They just don't rip you off there. They hit you. Wherever you're hitting it, that's where you get filled at. That's one good thing. Look at APRN. It's back up to 630s right there. That $6 was a good spot that... The 570 was the pre-market high. It came down basically to the 570s, 580s for that quick pop, uh, pop back up to the 640, 637. There was a good trade on there, APRN, man. 
We're going parabolic to the moon. Man, we are doing it. Man, I if when my account gets bigger, I'm really going to be stepping into these trades. But you seen I only took five trades right, five shares right there. I wanted to dumb down my share size because I did not want to risk too much. But this is a common sense trading monkey. Uh, Roland B, good to see you, man. If you guys could please hit the like button. YouTube loves it and I love it too. Day trading live. So how much did I get a per share? I basically got a dollar per share. A dollar per share on that. Boom. All the way up. Perfect, man. BH Paul. That was beautiful. Perfect hit. Perfect, perfect hit right there. We're going to pay attention to uh, another stock. APRN has good volume today. APRN has... APRN, look at MRNA, MRNA is still, look at this thing, kind of going sideways, but kind of trending up. It's right down on a spot right here, right down by the $30. Man, I, I'm going to take a paper trade right here at $30. I, I'm not going to trade this as a day trade. $30, I'll get in for a little paper trade. Just for a test, I, I want to see what SNDE, it's at $5 right now. $30, my profit would be up towards the uh, $30.25 spot. $30.25, I would take profit right there. This one has good volume. Look at the volume in this thing. Boom, 122000 You could really size into a stock like this. Man, that would be a good one. INO, INO is at six ninety nine. dollars You just got to continually to take your trades. If you see your trades... If you if you are going to hold on for a bigger uh, a bigger move that's good too. However your strategies lie, my strategies you basically see are scalp trades. So when I see any hint of uh, some downward pressure on it, sometimes I try to step out some of my shares there. But a lot of times it's right before it's going to push right back up. APRN is moving CODX bounced off the 1150s again the 1130s 11.50 area yes they do monkey pos sucks i use a uh, market i buy high and sell low it's trash bs market yes they oh maybe they do oh scotty pippen says yes they do with wait oh man look at that man so it's coming down 2073 oh man that was horrible man I really thought this thing had easily, easily would see $30.25. That that would that should have been easy, easy for this, man. But it just, look at that, all dropping. I should have been prepared, but I was going to get out if it fell below the 2990s right there. But could I have got out in time? I would have got some slippage down to the 2980s probably. If I would have been quick enough, sometimes I tell myself I am not going to sell on that quick or that downward pop. No matter how low it goes, I'm not going to sell. I'll let it pop back up and then I'll reduce my risk. And that now I could get out at 2990. So I would take the L right there. Take the big L right there. Put it right on my forehead. Slap, slap it right on my forehead right there. <laughs> How do you find your stocks? I use the Thinkorswim scanner right here. Thinkorswim scanner, day trading low flow small cap stocks. That's what I use. It's a free scanner, good way to find stocks. If you can afford a scanner, I would suggest buying a scanner or using, renting, whatever they do. I'm, I'm working on something for the future though, Marty Johnson, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. It's going to be perfect for the Monkey Army, plus every portion in the future is going to go into the Monkey Army Fund. I'm going to roll this thing. We're going to the top, man. We're doing it. I'm bringing you guys with me the best I can. <laughs> A dragon kicking and screaming, man. Ouch. What's the meaning starting $1,510 uh, to six? That's how much money I've actually put in my account was $1,510. That's the cash out of my own pocket. And where my account currently sits at from day trading the stock market is $1,621. So that's just how I keep track. I actually was a, not a profitable trader until the last month. I, my account actually, that 1510 I was actually down at $1,478, but I fought my way all the way back up. 
fought my way back up, man. So I'm doing pretty good with it. So APRN is looking, still looking okay. It, did it do too big of a, a pullback for you right there to come back out? APRN, look at that thing. That is good. And we're going to keep an eye on OPGN. I want to see MRNA. Now look at MRNA. It came up to my profit target, 3025. That's why I sometimes won't sell out of those quick pops down. This is in my rule. If I do not put a hard stop, uh, even if my even if my risk was at 2990, but it actually actually came down super quickly, it, I would not stop out. I would let it come back up and then I would take the uh take the L from there. I would let it get up to my risk. Sometimes I let it go a little bit longer and hold and hope. But if I would have held and hoped this time, it would have got right to my profit target and would have been a green, green trade for half of my shares. And then I would have held, the, I would have put my stop at break even now and held the other half up towards this $31, $30.75. Boom. I think OPGN is dead. XO, it could be dead for the day. It did do a quick little move this morning. MBRX is doing the VWAP test right now, so we'll have to see. That one, if that one gets over the 71 cents and comes back and use 71 cents as support right there, MBRX, I may look to get in that trade also. When it's moving, it's hard to get in, so market orders are still an option, but POS buys me high and sell me low instead of opposite. Yeah, it must have been when I got an SND when I got an SNDE, it must have just dropped right down. No and it, it, I hit it right at the exact right time. Right at the exact right time. I bought at the tippy 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 bottom. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I have to do this. I know it's I know it's a little late. I I know it's a little late for S N D E, but I had to do it, man. I had to put the boom 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 out there. <laughs> I had to put the boom 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 out there, man, for S N D E. That was a that was phenomenal. Thank you guys for I forgot to say this for the ones that used the word phenomenal. Please take your bow, take your applause. I was a little bit late on that also. Man, keep a side eye on APRN. Yes, APRN is a good monster. A good monster moves good everything. I really messed up on my three shares. I wish I wouldn't. Oh, man, I could have started my position and then added down there. But I don't know if I would have added all the way down here to the $6. I Sometimes I do do that, but I'm just not sure. Look at VXRT came all the way back down, going back up. That's going to have a lot of pressure on its head right there, though. VXRT and INO is pushing. It's over the seven dollars up towards the seven eighteen right now, and OPGN is starting to curl a little bit. Keep a side eye on OPGN also, and look at SNDE. Don't count this one out. There's still some volume starting to come in here. The daily average. How high can this go? Well, does it SNDE six sixty? Look at that. Boom. Look at that right there. It has room all the way up to the 750s, the 728 actually. 728. 728. Boom. 728. Okay, let me put that in there right there. Or 702 actually. What is that? I need to look a little closer at this. 720. Man, this thing has some crazy, crazy range. Some crazy, crazy range. SNDE, OPGN, and VXRT. I don't know about that one, but APRN also. And CODX is probably getting a little bit heavy, but you might as well keep taking that trade over and over again until you can't. But CODX is starting to look a little bit heavy, but maybe it's going to come down to $11 and then curl back around. I don't know. APRN is at $6.45. Maybe we should look at that one too. APRN. Man, a lot of good plays in the stock market today. Seriously, there were some great, great plays today. Great place. Look at this. APRN. Let's stretch out this trend line I have right here. Extend to the right. And look at. Look what it's doing. 
If it gets above this VWAP, gets above that trend line, look at the sky is the limit, but that's probably a perfect short sell until it gets through that. See that? That's something to notice. Look at those trend lines, man. Those trend lines will tell you a story. They really will. They really, truly will. Let, let me put up my other one. Drawing tools, this trend line. Man, spread on SNDE is awful. Yeah, that's what happens with stocks like that. The, the spread on that is awful, just like you said. It's hard to... It's hard to trade something like that. The only time I will take a trade like that on the low volume side is right out of a halt like that. Basically, that's in my rules. I, On a stock like that, it, it does the same move every single time. Basically, pretty much almost every single time. And if it doesn't, if it just dead, dead bounces and doesn't even bounce up like a flat tire, you'd have to get directly out of something like that. 640 is the roulette for a spot for APRN. Paul DeBalt says 640. Yep. Which way is it going to go? Do you have correct risk management if you can get in? Man, do I have any buying power left? I'm, I'm using all my buying power. 690. Let's see what's going to happen here. I was trying to see what else to trade. What is going on? SNDE. So GLBS. Man. ENDE. MBRX. MBRX. APRN. APRN. Man, I should have took it right there again. Man, that was a good spot right at the down at the bottom of that trend right there. Look at this stock has such good, good range. I think you're out of check boxes. Yeah, I only have eight check uh, check boxes or check marks. I, I, I told myself the reason I put only eight in there because I said if I get to eight check marks, I need to stop trading because my statistics tell me if I take over 10, actually 10 trades, I start just giving back my money and I can turn a green day into a red day. So that's why I put those eight check marks just to be clear on my situation and go, okay, I'm done trading. I'm not going to take a trade. But sometimes you can't just help it. There's some opportunity in the stock market. So I'm still going to only take eight trades, but um, I, I need to stick to that rule actually. But it definitely gets hard. It really does get hard to try to stick to your rules sometimes but your rules are there for a reason like the first three minutes of the stock market open the only reason i have that rule in place is because to sometimes think or swim td ameritrade just doesn't it lags on me the first minute in the stock market you need to be fast and don't greed too much just a tip not hey bro thank you xo yeah i and it's super it's super hard with uh with td ameritrade too I bought five shares at 602. <laughs> I'm trying to get some of my money back. I'll take some of my profit at 617. I'll sell two of my shares back at 617. 617. Boom. 617. Boom. 617. Uh, so that so that would be about 15 cents profit on two of my shares if I get it right there. Five. Who knows, maybe it's just going to come down, but it has room all the way to the 638s. And to me, that's a lot of profit right there. And, and, and there did OPGN break four. Oh, it just broke down. XO, good look on that. Good look. I, I, I really thought maybe it was going to turn around. Uh, it's not looking as good anymore, but it could still do the VWAP test. But sometimes on those second day movers, I have a bad look. Look at VXRT too. Is going up. Oh, I sold some of my shares right there. I sold a few, three of my shares, so plus 18 cents on those ones. Plus 18 cents, or whatever that was. Was that 618, 618, 620, 628, 628? I'll sell a couple or one more share at 628, 628, 628. 628 yeah 628 i'll try to sell some more shares at 628 one more share <laughs> boom i'm not gonna let this one get away from me though i'm definitely not gonna get this one get away from me 
And there did OPGN, good, good look, OPGN definitely broke down, it's down towards the uh, $4 right there, $4, $4 right there. So we'll see what happens with the APRN, it still could go up, VXRT is getting up over that VWAP, I think it has a lot of downward pressure from people trying to pick that up. They may have been adding to their position though, adding all the way down there. So maybe they have a dollar sixty, dollar sixty three average right there. Boom, 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 boom. Six fourteen. Come on, get up there, get up there. You, you right, bro. Exo greed is not good habit at all. Yes, not good habit at all. Uh oh. Man, I didn't sell my share. 625 625 I sold one more share at 625 right there 625 now I'm going to try to uh sell my I guess I'll try to let my rest go up towards seven dollars I'm gonna put a trailing stop in here a trailing stop 602 so 602 so how far 602 40 11 30 cent I'm putting a 30 cent trailing stop. How do you put a trailing stop? You right click on my and uh, cancel and replace order. Cancel and replace order. So a trailing stop I put right here. Boom. And 30 cents. 30 cents I'll put. Thirty, thirty, thirty. Okay, confirm and send and send. Boom, here we go. I put a 30 cent trailing stop, so I'm just gonna see how high this can go. Hopefully, if it gets to $7, I'll just take my profit right there. Let's go. Okay, I am in with SNDE. Good, um, I'm pulling for you. Hopefully it gets going, good. Bum, 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 look at this, man. Look at APRN, so worst case scenario, I'm gonna get out for plus two cents on those shares. Man, I wanted this to go up. I should have took another share. If I was smart, I would have took another, some more profit right there by the 635s right there. 638, actually, I would have tried. 638 would have been my next profit target. But I'm just going to put a trailing stop. I love trailing stops now a little bit. 30 cents, you're going to give that back. It's okay. It, it's okay if I if I do. I, I just wanted this to maybe, it, it, I, I think it does have room up towards the $7, the 680s. So even if it can get up to the 680s, then my 30 cent trailing stop, I'll get 650 for profit right there. That, that, that would be good for me. And if it comes down and stops me out, that's fine. I already took profit on three quarters of my shares. I only had five shares, so I took plus 18 cents, plus 28 cents, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. 30 cents, you're going to get that back. Boom, it's okay, it's okay. I'm looking for it to go up right here, right through this VWAP and really the buyers start coming in. But who knows, maybe it's gonna break down. But this one, this one is a good one. Delivery, home delivery of food. I wish I would have known this yesterday. I should have looked in closer to it. Waiting for three on SNDE. SNDE is at 342. DH Gang, uh, it's at 342 right now, 339. I'm going to go look at it here pretty quick, actually. I'm really going to go look at it pretty quick. Man, look at this. This was a great trade. I, I got in at 602. Look at 30 cents profit I could take right now if I wanted to. 30 cents profit. Boom. I already took profit on this, so I'm not too worried about it. So I want to try to get a home run out of my last two shares here. And a home run to me would be up towards the 675s, 670s up there. <clears throat> so let's go, let's go. Psst, buy gold option May 15185. Going crazy last three days, Ricardo Zapata. Yes, look at this. Here we go. Look at it. This is actually only the second tap, basically, but let's see what happens. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at my trailing stop, a 30 cent trailing stop. Let's go. 680. If it got up to 680, I should take my profit up towards the but oh well. I'm I'm just gonna let this go. It's okay. It's okay wherever this goes. 30 cent trailing stop. So my trailing stop, it got to a high of 645. 
Now I will sell my shares at 615, worst case scenario, so I'll get 13 cents no matter what on my last shares right there. My last, last shares. Live. You can trade options just like penny stocks, stock market trading. Yes, options are a good choice, but I think there is so much money day trading low flow small cap stocks. There is money just, it's just money laying all over the ground. It's basically all over the place. Where else can you learn something that it, maybe it takes you five years time? I don't even see it taking you five years time. But at the end of those five years, if you could earn $2,000 a day, would you do it? After a while, it seems like you're just picking money up off the ground. It's just laying there for you to pick up. You know what I mean? But you know it can come and it can go. As long as you have correct risk management, you need to be humble. I'm very humble by this experience into this. I really want to stand up for each and every one of us as beginner traders. I really had... A tough time at the beginning and I walked my own path and I found my way I'm still trying to find my own way but I'm getting there man I am getting there picking up pennies yes well it's pennies right now it, I I know it's easy to say oh you're just picking up pennies you're picking up a dollar a day whatever but the only difference between a penny a day and a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars a day is my share size so basically I pay attention, very close attention to the volume. Volume tells you everything. And what, oh, I stopped me out right there. But anyways, there we go. That was a great good trade to me. I could try it one more time right here. If this APRN actually looks like the third touch right there, this is the first touch, the second. On this third time through, it looks like it could make it through the 680s right here. I would take another trade. But anyways, yeah, if I just up my share size, I'm going to be making big, big money. Thank you for subscribing, man. Uh, thank you, Sam pa uh, Patel. Welcome to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place where you're seeing in front of your very eyes. Is my one-minute chart, five-minute chart, 15-minute chart, level two, time and sales, and this is my active trader where I buy and sell shares I each and every day. I cannot believe VXRT. That thing would have stopped me out. I would have got in at 166 about, or I probably would have got in at 172, and I would have used probably 162 as my risk. I don't think I would have let it stretch way down there to the 150s, but I should have. Look at this. It's going to come stop me out. Now it's going to get up there. Boom. Yo, bro, how's the trading? Good, man. I'm doing good today. I have $1,636, so I made $15 today. I made $15 today, and my profit target's only $10. Money's all over the place, man. Money's laying around. White House Colonel Rice Task Force holds news conference. Baja, what, where is my news at, man? Baja, man, what's going on? What they, They've been holding a news conference every single day. Let's watch this. Is the news conference going on right now? Trading live. You've done great showing this account. Thank you, man. Stock market trading. I'm showing every single trade all the way from the bottom to the top. All the, I'll, I'm going to make $1 million day trading low flow small cap stocks. Live action. You're going to see it here. I'm going to be one of the first ones to show every single trade all the way to $1 million. Wait until I'm making thousands of dollars a day. It's going to be incredible. When I'm making thousand dollars, thousands of dollars a day, it's going to be crazy, man, around here. I'm going to be doing giveaways. I'm going to be doing some crazy stuff around here. BNGO. I'm very excited. BNGO. Robert Lamb saying thank you, Robert Lamb. BNGO. Let's go check that one out. I still have high hopes for APRN, though. BNGO. BNGO. Boom. BNGO, look at this one, boom, straight on up, straight on up, man. Let's look at the daily. I know this one really well. I This one, anytime this goes up, it comes down. I always look for a short sell on this, but let's see. Let's see what's happening. So 53 cents, 53, 61, 60. Man, this thing's way down there, man. This is a sub dollar stock again. Look at that thing went up and straight right back down. But who knows what's going to happen with this one. BNGO. HTBX is doing the VWAP test. If you guys trade that one, 
you would have had to get in around the 58 cents. HTBX had a great, great entry, had good volume still. 58 all the way to 63 right there. So there was good money. COCP trying to get legs. COCP. Let's go look at that one. COCP. COCP. Man, I cannot believe uh, CODX how much money that one handed out today. COCP. COCP. Let's go look at this one. Whoa, man. This one's going straight up too. COCP. Look at this. Go Crystal. What is going on around here? What is going on? Look at this. COCP looks like it has a little bit more action to me than BNGO, but I'm just not sure. I've traded this one a lot of times in the past. Look at that. Look at this thing go. Look at COCP. Good look. A great, great look on COCP. AYTU is going up. A lot of these stocks. Look at the stock market. APRN. I, I still have good hopes. I wish I would have took APRN one more time back down by that $6. APRN is getting ready to make the move. Or it could be making the move. I'm going to go watch APRN. If you do trade COCP, this could, it does have a little bit of room up towards the dollar right there. But to me, I just don't trade sub dollar stocks that much. I'm the Trading Monk Army. We are the army, man. Trading Monk, you are the best calling no stock. You deserve a lot. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for finding value in this live stream. If you can, please hit the like button. YouTube loves it and I love it too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at COCP. It's just not me making good calls. Look at there. There's a lot of people in this live stream that have such a great look at the market. I could not do this without you. I really could not do this without you. So every single day you guys show up, definitely I learn so much from all you guys. HTBX, Robert Lamb. Yeah, I like HTBX and BNGO. Maybe that's a good one for to get in down here off of the support down there. I'm not sure, but that, that looks like a good risk management trade, but I'm just not sure what's going on. The volume's a little light for me, but I, I, I like... Uh, Oh man, APRN, APRN, look at, here we go, APRN, high alert, high alert, man, <clears throat> APRN, I'm doing it one more time, I bought five shares at $6.30, $6.30, I bought five shares, five shares, $6.30, I'll sell some of my shares at six forty dollars right there for $0.10. Cents. I, I don't like to get in for green candles. I, I'm just anticipating. I'm anticipating the push towards the 680s. Maybe it's not going to do it. Remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Remember, remember. And I have a daily support resistance line at 637 It's not above the 637s. I should have looked at this higher low, higher low, higher low. $6 should be my entry, but oh well, I'm, I'm in a little bit high up here. Let me uh, see what's happening. Boom. HTBX, HL. <clears throat> Who knows what's going to happen? This ain't, I don't have the best entry on this stock. APRN. Let's see BTU. Okay. BTU, SNDE, SNDE, APRN. APRN has so much good volume, man. APRN. 630, 618. We'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. It may come all the way back down to the $6 again. And it may just stop me right on out of this. Here we go. I'm trying to see. Oh, 630s. I'm not going to let this one get the best of me this time. Not the best of me. AIM went up and straight back down. WTRH, Zoo We So says WTRH also. Is that up over a dollar yet? No, it's at 77 cents. So maybe it came down going back up. AYTU is pushing up also right there. So AYTU, man, I really have high hopes for this one. GRIL BH Paw says. Man, you guys are coming out with some crazy stocks, man. SDE, look at this one. SDE is moving. 
SDE also, man, GNPX, look at this one. Look what GNPX, A, B, C, D, what is going on around here? What is going on, man? Uh, let me get back. I got to get back over to APRN, man. This one's getting me again. This one's going to get me again. Bum, bum, bum. Five, six, five, thirty. Okay. What is going to happen? G R I L. Boom, boom, boom. What is going to happen with APRN? Is it going to go up? Is it going to wait till after the lunchtime? What is going to happen with this? Man, I, I almost, uh, man, I think this is getting up to the 680s today. Before yesterday, looking into this, maybe I'm a little bit uh, gung-ho on this thing. I, look at me go again. APRN keep consolidating into lunch strategy works well. Yeah, it's just consolidating right in between. It's getting tighter and tighter. Hopefully it can hold this trend line right here now. Look at that higher low, higher low, higher low. Let's look on the five minute chart. Look at this. Look what happened back here. It consolidated, grinded up, grinded up, grinded up, came back down. Look at what it's doing now. Consolidate and consolidate and consolidate and boom. Probably going to drop on my head right there. <laughs> hey, Train Monkey, with the money you trade today for stocks, does the money settle tomorrow on a cash account? No. Every two days. Your cash clears every two days. So that's why I split my money in half. <clears throat> Whatever you money you have, you should probably try to split it in half so you can trade each day. And then your first cash will clear in two days. So every two days your cash clears. I never understood stock, but there is this new thing called relent. Re, I heard of real estate, but the rapper Dabby is investing in, re, and I want in Block Legend. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <clears throat> so with a cash account, your cash clears every two days. And those are business days. So every two days, your cash will clear. I'm not real sure. You'll have to look into it. So with $1,600, I try to spend $800 each day on stocks. And I spend $800 today. I'll spend $800 tomorrow. And then when I do that, then the next day, my cash will clear. And I'll be able to spend $800 again. So that's what I try to do. And, and then I always have cash available. I may not be able to take the biggest share size, but I'm still trying to learn my strategies. And you can definitely see I am taking FOMO trades still. Like this trade right here was basically a FOMO trade. If I was going to get in, I should have got in down here at the $6. Or the best one would have been down here by the $5.97. But then I wasn't real sure. I could have got in right here at the $6.07. Would have been a great, great entry. But, oh well. Look at the long wicks on the top. This thing can drop pretty quickly also. Getting tight at my 620s. Yeah, getting super tight, man. I hope it gets back above. That blue line on my chart is my 9 EMA. See, that blue line is my 9 EMA. I'm hoping it can get back above that 9 EMA and start using it as support above the 620s and do all that. I'm in at 630s, man. I'm looking for this to really get going up. Maybe this is just going to come down also. Look at AYTU doing that same exact move. Coming all the way back down. It looks like a huge washout on AYTU, but it's actually only been going down like 10, 15, 20 cents. But it, it looks like it comes way, way, way down. Where am I going to stop out on this trade? My stop out point is uh, at $6 right here. I have a 30 cent risk because I'm looking for this to get up towards the 680s. So I'll have a 50 cent. It's basically two to one risk to reward. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm not going to add to my position because I shouldn't even be taking no more trades. So basically this is what I'm doing. But I wanted this to come up right here. I wanted it to push through the VWAP, come back down, use this as support, and then head back up to the 660s. But it's still looking good. You know what I mean? It's still looking good to me. So so since it's looking good, that's why I put my wrist down here at the $6. Because just give it a little bit of room to move around right there. 
Getting tight, listening to the song Bop on Broadway. <laughs> bop, bop on Broadway. Some, oh, look at SNDE. SNDE, man. Look at this. What's this one doing? SNDE. This one has crazy range. Can you believe my entry? It was right at the tippy, tippy bottom. The tippy, tippy bottom of that. Boom. So uh, CODX, if you took that trade again down by the 1150s, the 1130s, it's right back up to your profit target again. But it's looking a little stronger this time for some reason. I thought it was looking weak and was going to come down a little bit further. But you might, you can take it again and again and again right there. VXRT is pushing. It did the VWAP bounce, surprising me actually. VXRT is bouncing off the VWAP, trying to head up in that little range. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Yeah, Roland B, happy St. Patrick's Day, ma'am. Yes, 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 and yes. APRN, let me get back over there. APRN, here we go. Come on, man. Come on. So I'm going to sell two of my shares right here at the 640s. At 640, I'll sell two of my shares. Look at that thing. Here we go, man. 638. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. 640s. Come on. Get up there, though. Hopefully, it gets up there. <laughs> Hopefully, it can get up there. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. 636. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this thing go, man. Come on. APRN. APRN. Hope y'all get green today. Yes, I hope we all get green. Boom. I sold two of my shares. My next profit target is up towards the 680s up here. The 680s, I'm just going to put it in right now at 677 is my profit target. 677 is going to be my profit target. Actually, let me just sell one more of my shares right here. One more of my shares at 662. 663. 663. I'll try to sell some more of my shares at 663 up here. Man, what's going on? Get up there. Get up there. 663. Come on. 660. 658. 657. 659. Get up there. Here we go. Buy the dip, sell the rip. A lot of people are probably going to buy right here. 657. 650, whoa, 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 come on. I'm going to move it down a little bit to 660 right there and see if it can get filled, man. I should have been ready. I should have been a little bit more prepared. That that I should have sold into that first push right there, but I didn't. I just didn't. Here we go. Get up there, 660, 660, I'm going to step it down, 659. Okay, so I sold another I sold another piece of my shares at 659 for 29 cents profit right there. 29 cents profit. My next profit target is up towards the $7. Boom. Six seventy three. This is my profit target right here. Is at six seventy three. So we'll see what happens. TNXP six seventy three. I should have had my shares ready to go already right here at six seventy three or six seventy eight. It wouldn't have hit my six seventy eight, but oh well. Six seventy three. Come on, let's go, man. <laughs> day trading live every single day. What a beautiful trade. What a beautiful trade, man. Beautiful trade. 660s, 660s, oh man, come on. Man, I should have, I should have got, I should have got out right there, oh well. Look at this thing, dropping all the way back down, man. <laughs> Lots of profit takers. I'm not going to let this go against me, at least. 630, 630. One more share. I'll sell one more share up towards the 668. Oh, oh, wait. 665. I'll sell one more right there. 
J-Nug moving back up. Look at APRN. What a beautiful stock. If it was me, I would probably short sell right there by the six, seven dollars. But anyways, I'm trying to get my profit out here. I'm just going to take my profit before this comes back down. Because truthfully, I would short sell up there. But oh man, 647. Look at this coming right on down. 650. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Sometimes, see how quick you have to be. This just shows you you have to be quick. Sometimes you have to be super quick into the situation. Look, because I'm losing a few uh, cents per share right there. 647. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe I should just let this hang and uh, leave my uh, shares up there at the 660s, but I'm just going to get out of this thing right here. 645, man, that would have been a beautiful short sell up there. I don't think I would have got my short sell though, because I would have waited a little bit higher up towards the $7. There we go, a good green trade right there, man. A good, another good green trade. So that that was a good easy trade right there. There's nothing wrong with that trade. I kind of and sometimes I anticipate a little bit early. If I was smart, I would have added shares back, but I just didn't want to do it. So it did it got it did everything I wanted it to. So that's a beautiful good trade to me. Maybe you could take this trade also off the 640s, the 650s for that quick push up. APRN, there's so many good trades in the stock market, man. So many good trades. Look at, there's another good trade right here. Look at that tight risk management. At least to me there is. But I scalp the market. Remember, remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Trade your own plan and plan your own trade, man. Whoa, look at that. Came right on down to the 620s. Look at that, man. That was crazy how that did that. That was crazy. I thought this was going to go a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Crazy, crazy, crazy. VXRT. We are APRN. Man, I cannot believe this stock did just did this. Look, it came right up to my profit target and came right back down. That That is... That should have never done... I mean... It, it, it should have done this because some I used to wait for this trade and I used to get in after this pullback right here and then it would come down and stop me out and then it would end up going higher right here. So I, I'm going to try it one more time at 356. I'm keeping a tight stop this time. If it comes down or three 635, if it comes down to 624, I'll stop out. Stop out 624. I'm just keeping a tight stop. I, I think there's a little bit of a scalp right here up to the 650s right there. So I'm just going to keep it. If not, it's fine too. If it comes right on down, it's fine too. It just reminded me of something when I seen this. Who knows what's going to happen? Remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. I'm trading with very small share size, but there are, it has plenty of volume to get in and out of this with at least a thousand shares, 2,000. Looks like a short. Yeah, I, I'm just taking the little. You're right. I would have short sold up here, but it, it looks like it has enough room up to the 653, 660s up there. I'm just taking a little tiny scalp right here. Maybe it's going to come right down though and stop me out also, but I just wanted to try to take that little bit of money right there. That little bit of money. I like trying to pick up that money. INO is up over that 730s now. Uh, 730, 720, 730s. Who knows? This, this, who knows if the, this may come down a little bit more to Paul the Bald 620 area. If it comes down to the 620s, uh, that could be another spot. I, I may have put my stop a little bit too tight right there, but I, I don't want to let it go no further. I just don't. Looks like a short. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just looking for the short moves in the stock market. Nothing big, nothing fancy, just little short moves in the stock market. Come on.
What is gonna happen? Sorry, man, I was looking at this. Here we go, 642. <clears throat> I'm gonna take it right in front of that VWAP right there. See that little VWAP right there? I, I just wanna make sure I'm gonna get out for some profit right here. Seven cents ain't bad to me. If I get filled, maybe I won't even get filled right here. Newbie alert when setting up with TOS, what information and requirements are needed? AT, I, I signed up so long ago, I can't remember. I'm sure you have to have a ID and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? They're, they're, I, I'm not real sure what you need. I did it so long ago. So long ago, man. Come on, get up there. 641, 641. It came right up to 641 right there. 641. 639, 640, 639, come on, 640, 634, whoa, look at that, came right on down to my head. Boom. So, so do you see that? That That's exactly how I like to play that. I stopped out of my trade. It never got to my thing. But did you see how it wicked all the way down to 614? I did not stop out there, but I put my stop right where. So it came back up and it allowed me to get out where I wanted to put my original risk, which was 625 for minus 10 cents. So anyways, that was a good that was good risk management to me. That worked out beautifully. If this would have kept coming down, I could have added to my position down by $6 and then I would have reduced my risk at my average price because sometimes it won't catch its feet on that first one. So you always have to have a second plan in place. You know what I mean? Your second plan needs to be in place. I thought that was going to get right up to my profit target, but it came right down, got rejected right there, hardcore. Looks like higher lows. Again, another higher low right there. Yeah, it does, but but look what it did. Now, now it could come through right here. I don't know. VXRT, look at VXRT is moving. We'll, we'll see what happens with APRN. So it looks like a lot of short sellers probably jumped right in there. SNDE, SNDE. VXRT. And I, I'm, I'm done trading. I keep doing that. The community has anyone started more recently than that might know? I'm not sure. It's it's super easy. You can call them on the phone, Roland B, and you can get it. Uh, you can get it. You can open an account with as little as $20. You really can. So whatever you do, you can, I would just call them on the phone. They will answer any question you have and you'll be ready to go, ready to get the show on the road. Even if you just want to trade with one share size, they don't care. As long as you put your money in your account, you are good. And that's a great way to start learning. Even if you only have 10 bucks, load an account and just trade out. Uh, one time every two days by $10 worth of share, whatever you want to do. I know you're not going to make money, but you're going to get the feel of the process of day trading low full small cap, basically stocks and penny stocks. I am still holding CODX. TT says CODX. Man, good job on CODX. That's a beautiful one. I think it's going to curl right around and come back up. C O D X. Anyway, so I pretty much took all. I, I I'm over trading now. I'm just uh, doing it. So six thirty six. So twenty six forty one. Yeah, I made fifteen dollars today, man. I I only have thirty three dollars buying power left. Who uh, Paul De Ball? Do you have any ideas on a good trade? I have thirty three dollars buying power left. <laughs> Trading Monkey, awesome. I have $100 to start with. Roll and B, it's going to be perfect. It's super easy too because you just, I, I, I keep my trading stuff kind of separate so you can open a separate banking account just for your trading activities and you can you can open however many bank, uh, bank accounts you want. But anyways, just open a bank account and then you just put your money in your bank and you can transfer it right on over to TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade. Trading Monk, when are you going to open CMake? When I get to $3,000. $3,000. Still holding APRN. 
uh, $3,000, I will open a CMEG account. I really want to be prepared before I go to CMEG. There's no use going to CMEG jumping right over there when I'm basically a long bias trader. But uh, the reason I would go there is so I can use margin and I can short sell some stocks. Yeah, TT, okay. Chang Monk, what, what, does anyone see a good uh, how, monkey? How do you trade pre market? What is your TOS set up? How you trade pre market, if you're trying to buy and sell shares and you cannot buy in the pre market, the reason being is you have to have this, this right here. I don't know if you can see it. This needs to be on GTC underscore EXT. And then you can take uh, trades in the pre market. And you can trade in the pre-market that way. That, that was one thing. It was hard uh, to figure out. Sometimes it's just a simple thing like that. And you can trade. In the, the volume has to become correct in the pre-market. If there's no volume in the pre-market, I'm not even going to attempt a trade. <laughs> Boom. Thank you. Yeah, you're going to do great. You're, you're going to do. Roll B. We're going to the top. We're going parabolic. Hang in there, guys. We have such a long road in front of us. Trading the stock market can get very, very frustrating. But as long as we stand in line, we're ready to go. Your hand is raised and it stays raised. You're going to make it. And as long as you're in the monkey army, we are going to help each other out and keep us motivated and keep us going to the top. Where else in the world? We're going to make lots and lots of money. You have to be patient. Patience is the key to trading the stock market. Patience, patience, patience. I know you want to hurry up and make the big, big money. We will, but you just got to be patient, man. In every trade, both parties think they are correct, but only one is. Yep, absolutely. You're absolutely correct. I got a little over 100 buying power. got everything else in RMTI. What should I do? A quick trade on. That's what I was wondering also. I'm not sure. I just don't know. Man, APRN for me. Rags to riches to rags to small profit. <laughs> Johnny K, I, I know the feeling, man. Glad to be green at all right now. I haven't had a red day for 10 days. But just not big greens. Just building your account slowly but surely is the way to go. 12 years, be patient, folks. Five years, I say five years, you'll start earning enough money to really uh, supplement, supplement your income. If you can make 200 a day, that's going to be a good little uh, chunk of change for your, your income. You know what I mean? You're going to be making a, a lot of money then. The earlier you are to the party, the longer you'll have to wait. NVAX predictions JNUG blowing up. I gotta look at it, JNUG. Let's look at let's see what the spy is doing. What is going on? What happened with I never listened to the conference. Is the conference going? Did the conference go right here? Look at it. It came down to two or that was a while ago actually. Um look at this. JNUG. Okay. JNUG. J N U G boom. Boom, boom, boom. What is going on? Who knows? I, I have no idea. Boom, 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 boom. Plan your own trade and trade your own plan. <laughs> Paul DeVault says, trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Don't be asking me for help. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth, though. That is so true. So, so true, man. You can't be asking someone else. You really have to look at the market your own. I'm ripping the J-Nug long and short. Good job, Torque Daddy. That's how we do it, man. That is how we do it. Boom, boom, boom. What? We're going to the top. It's so exciting to know where our future is. And, and I'm happy to be here every day just to hang out. You know what I mean? I'm happy to be here just learning. Look at, here goes NVAX. NVAX to the moon, man. To the moon. To the moon. How how far? N V A X. Nine fifty, nine seventy, nine fifty, nine seventy, nine oh eight. Look at A Y T U coming down. Look at A P R N. Don't count. I guess don't count that one out. It could be going up. It's not really coming down. It's still building that support right there. 
and look at INO. Safe trading, y'all. Be safe out there. I wish I would have opened my mouth. Good to have you here, Vitaly. Thank you, man. Tony Omar, Monkey, did you take a trading course? No. I learned every every single thing I'm learning is just one foot in front of the other. It's a slow process, but I think you can really learn, do good things that way. I N O. I have a daily support resistance line at 723. There was a perfect entry down by the 720s right there for the push up to 740s. I wish I would have ran over there. Monkey is an autodidact. And what does an autodidact mean? A person who has learned a subject without the benefit of a teacher or formal education. A self-taught person. Hey, and take your bow, man. <laughs> that what you came correct, man. Your vocabulary is on point. Your vocabulary is on, on point. <laughs> Boom. Safe trading, y'all. Be safe. You are on point. Yes. How do you find your stocks? I use Thinkorswim. I, I made a video on how to set up a pre-market scan. I look for stocks that have gapped up on the day. That's the look I'm looking for each and every day. And I look for low float, small cap, basically penny stocks. And that's what I'm looking for. I did, Man, look at this thing. I wish I... Oh. This one, I want to trade a stock that has good range on it. I, I do have a few dollars. If I was going to trade anything, I think it would be CODX, actually. CODX. Boom. And look at APRN is built. It built strong support right where Paul DeBald said, right down by that 620s. Who knows? Maybe it's coming down still, but we'll have to see. Valerie and Williams, thanks everyone. Hope to see you all at 3 p.m. today for some swing trades. I need y'all. That's what we're doing here. That is definitely what we're doing here. How do you find stocks? Yes. Sometimes the scan doesn't work. Yeah, the this, this scan, the good thing about the think or swim scan, it doesn't update every, like every time a stock pops up, it's not updating constantly like that. But it updates enough if you can make your scanner settings set where it will catch enough stocks in there when they just start hitting, then how you see them is the volume and the mark percent change. That that updates every second on the second. So you, as long as it makes your scanner list in that eight minutes time, then it's on your scanner. Then if it starts moving, you're going to be able to catch it. So Thinkorswim Scanner has a great, great, it, you can make it work almost better than a paid scanner, truthfully. All, uh, truthfully, I think sometimes it's better than a paid scanner. 1017 NVAX. Look at that thing all the way up, man. Take a good look at diverging opening angle from the 200 MA. That speaks volume. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, uh, Vitaly. Vitaly, that means a lot. I, I'm going to check that out. If you guys don't know, I am. I do have a pamphlet, and I'm keeping tight notes. A lot of your guys' notes are in there, and I try to... Uh, I'm definitely keeping them and I'm going to release them soon as I know I'm a profitable trader. Monkey, what are the check marks for? That's how many trades I took today and each trade. Every time I take a trade, if it was a green trade, I put a green check mark. The next one over is my second trade. And if I took a red trade, I'll put a red check mark. So that's why I put the check marks now. But I actually took more. I took more than uh, eight trades today, but I only have eight check marks. So that's what it does. That's what it means right there. That I put it there so it, it's easier to tell if I took green trades or red trades. I actually made $15 today. This is a lot better than usual. My account grew $15. If I can grow my account $10 a day uh, for $10 a day for the rest of this month and then next month, I'm, I'm hoping they can deal with the coronavirus so we can get back to normal. The stock market is super hard to trade. Even though there's a lot of opportunity, there's going to be a lot more opportunity coming up. A lot, lot more. But you know when the stock market starts turning around and they, they get a control of the coronavirus, you know a lot of the money's going to head on over to the larger cap stocks because everybody's going to be wanting to put their money in there, catching those bottom bounce plays. So I, I'm not real sure. Maybe, oh, there it goes. Uh, uh, AIM, AIM, high alert, AIM, high alert, AIM, AIM, high alert, boom. AIM is high alert. 
A I M A I M I alert. Sorry for saying that so many times. Boom, boom, boom. I, I, I bought two shares at 241. At 241, I usually don't buy on green candles. I look for the pullback, which the pullback would be down towards the 230s. The 230s right there. But I'm trying to catch these moves on the upside. 241. 241. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell some of my shares for the push over that 250. If it pushes over 250, I'll sell a couple of my shares. Maybe it's not, maybe it's coming right down. Who, who knows? Remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Trade your own plan and plan your own trade. I just bought two shares because I shouldn't even be trading right now. <laughs> come on. Come on. 248. There we go. I sold one share right there at, at 253. 253. Come on. Get up there. Keep going. Go, go, go. Bump. 255. I'm trying to sell my other share at 258 right there. 258 there you go boom i bought on a green candle tobin i call that the tobin special man <laughs> that is the tobin special boom 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 awesome good job uh, good job uh, thank you zona j look at that man i got in early i came correct and i wasn't scared i came correct and i was not scared went all the way to 280 right there on huge volume Boom, I came correct, I came not scared, I did it. I killed it, I made it, I did it, I made it, man. Boom, boom, boom. White House, uh, Coronado's Tax Force holds news conference, Baja says, uh, interactive brokers, not as bad as long as I take market open trades. After that, I'm pounding the table. Look at this thing, AIM. I was. I thought today was the move, but they tricked me and dropped it right down at first. And then look, boom, came right over. Look at this. I should have been paying closer attention to this around this 225. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Good job. Good trading. Good look. Good, good look right there. Good little micro pullback into the 250s. AIM. Here we go. Baja says White House coronavirus. Boom, I took two shares. Just got in OPG and 400 shares. OPGN. Good job. OPGN is dropping right down. I have a support level. It's an intraday support level at 346. So hopefully it can do a little bottom bounce right there. But why are all these other coronavirus stocks going up? But OPGN is one of the ones going down. I that's what I don't understand. That's what I'm worried about. But, oh, well, CODX is also starting to break above the $12, the $11.92. There could be a good opportunity on CODX and on AIM. AIM, oh, man, there was good. I wish I would have had more buying power. I would have bought that for that push. I'm, I'm not good at buying those breakouts, but that was a good one. Yeah, CODX, it, it looks like it came right back up to the $12 and came right back down. But it, it still could make its move up. Maybe it's just doing a pullback before it goes back up. So APRN, what are we looking for? SNDE, VXRT. VXRT is doing, I don't take that trade on VXRT, but there is some support down there by the dollar sixty four, And the VWAP's also down there on the five minute chart. I, I'm just not sure about that one. Look at AIM. AIM. This one's looking so good, man. So somebody's trying to buy OPGN at lower prices. Yeah, possibly. Mr. Magnify, maybe. Maybe you're going to get a bottom bounce, but why are all these other coronavirus stocks going kind of going up and OPGN's the one going the opposite direction? But I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not looking at all the coronavirus stocks. I'm just looking at a few. MBRX is trying to push back up a tiny bit. Not really. Never mind. Look at this. So where would I get in on this? I Look at this. Right down by that 250, the 240 level. If this thing washed out down towards the 250, I'd probably start my position at 260. And if I had to, I would add at 240. I would have a 250 average and then I would sell up towards 260. Or if I did get in at 260 and it happened to push to 290s, I would sell right there. So that would be my two game plans. Maybe I'll just take two shares on this to see if it's going to do it. 
I can get in. We'll, we'll see what happens. It looks like it. Did. this may be the first one minute candle to make a new high. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see what's happening. We'll see. I better take my hand off the wheel, man. I, I'm taking way too many trades. Aim was a good call. Wow. Thank you, TT. Thank you, man. What is the tool you use on TOS to buy and sell? This is the active trader. That's where I buy and sell my shares each and every day. I bought two shares at 262. At 262, I bought two shares right there. I'm going to sell one share up to, oh, it's still coming down right there. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place. What you're seeing from your very eyes is my one minute chart, uh, five minute chart, 272. I'm going to say 260. I thought I was getting filled at 252, but it filled me at 262. I should have, APRN is pushing again. It's up over the 645s right now. Who is thinking too short MRNA? What's your thoughts? I, I'm not sure. What where is MRNA? 3224 right now. Man, I got in 240s. How much buying power do I have left? Oh, $23. Okay. 23, 72. 72. Boom. I'm going to sell one of my shares at 72, then I'll sell my other share up towards 98. If it happens to come back down to this 230s, the 230s I will add to my position one time. 230s, but I bought two shares at 262. Let's go. Thank you, Jennifer Sake. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. You couldn't have came to a better place where you see in front of your very eyes of my one minute chart. Five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two time sales is my actual where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. Have some coffee and take a breath. You're doing good today. Thank you, Roland B. Thank you, man. Here we go. 269, 269. I should I should probably move my shares down a little bit more, but I'll leave them right there. 272. I'll sell one share at 272. And then I'm going to sell my last share up towards 288, 298. One of those two spots. One of those two spots right there. Man, get up there. Get up there. 268, 270, 270, 272. Went through the tape. 13,000 shares at 272. 272, 2,000 shares. Or 13,000 shares. Did you see that? Did you see that order right there? What was that? Was that someone trying to put a lid on this thing or what? I need to move my shares down one cent, 271. Man, I should have put them at 271. I always try to beg for that 10 cents. That 10 cents sometimes gets me. 270s, 263. Come on. 262. Let's go. 263. Is this support? There's some orders sitting at 263. Something weird's going on here. I seen a huge order. Is it gonna is it getting ready to sprout right through this or what? Or is it getting ready to drop like a rock? One of the two. <laughs> One of the two it's going to. Is think or swim level two data free? Yes, zoo we so yes, it's absolutely free, man. Abs absolutely free. 263 being sold into 263, 264. I don't trade penny stocks, but it's interesting to see someone do it. I always wondered what the ruckus looked like. <laughs> If you want to make some money day trading the stock market, day trading low flow small cap stocks is the way to go, man. I, I seriously think there's so much money laying around the stock market that it's probably a good, good, good thing to do. SNDE, I am out. Yeah, I'm getting out of here soon too. Man, I should I put my order someone at 272. Did you see that huge order there? Something they're getting ready to do something to this. Maybe it's just coming down. Maybe it's coming down. I will add two shares down towards this 235, 240 level. I will add two more shares, double my share size right there. I only have a small position. If I would have had a larger position, I would have sold some of those shares as soon as it stalled out. As soon as I seen that uh, number at two, uh, 272. I would have definitely hit the bid right there and took some of my shares off the table, but I I only have two shares, so I just wanted to wait. 
So let's go 259. There's 14,000 at 259 right there. What is happening? Where there is an extra zero in daily profits. Join, join us in Forex and crypto PMs and indices. Nah, yeah, there, there's a lot of, wherever you go in the stock market, you're going to make your money. If you just want to learn how to trade the stock market, I would just get to somewhere and I would stick to it. That's the most important thing. You have to just really stick to what you're going to do. If you if you want to stick to futures, stick to futures. If you want to do penny stocks, stick. but you can also after you learn one thing, you unless you tried one thing for so long and you just didn't make it, maybe it just isn't for you, and maybe it's probably good to move on. What am I saying? I'm kind of being wishy washy around this subject because I'm not real sure. Actually, whatever you do is fine with me. If it ain't if it ain't bugging me, if you're not, if it ain't even I'm not even worried about it, man. <laughs> no, I'm not even. It doesn't matter what area. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Your life is your life. What you do with your life, go ahead and live your life. Live your best life, man. Live your best life. That's all I want to say right there. Live your best life. Here we go. 10 cents. I'm 10 cents down right now. 10 cents down. 5 cent profit. 10 cents. It doesn't matter. Yeah, learning to trade is key. T-A and D-C-A. Yes. Look at this. Why is this trending down? I thought AIM had more room to the upside. I thought it was going to get up to... Where is my AIM situation? Yeah, AIM. 293. At least up to 293. But we'll, we'll see. We're going to see what happens. See what happens. So you guys know I day trade the stock market every single day from 9 a.m. till noon every single day, every single day, all the way until we get to one million dollars. After there's a lot of money laying around, we're going to go, what are we going to do? We're going to have to invest our money somewhere. We're going to spread it out. We're going to spread it up. We're getting close. We're getting closer. This is going to pause. Look at those wicks on the tops. Yeah, on the five minute chart right there. Yeah, but it's still, see that range right there? It does have a range from the 275, probably from the 250s to 275. There's like 15 cents in there. But maybe if you can keep your risk management is key to me. Risk, risk management. CODX is getting back over the $12 or trying to get back over the $12 right there. Boom. I'm going to add two more shares. I'm going to add two more shares. It looks like I'm going to have to. 237. 237. $100 profit on CODX. I'm tired of holding it. I know. It's getting it's getting ready to either break out or something. On CODX, something great is happening. Don't miss an episode. Don't miss an episode. So CODX and APRN basically have or no those are totally different looks never mind i need to take a drink of coffee man take a drink of coffee i'm going i i, I put a limit order out there at 235 at 235, I'm trying to buy I'm trying to buy two more shares to double my share size to get a better average. To get a better, better average right there. INO was a beautiful couple good trades on that. Man, aim. I, at least I caught aim on the way up right there. It went boom, was going straight on up. Wishy washy. Yes, wishy washy. I this is yes, wishy washy. Sometimes I'm wishy washy, sometimes I'm not. But I, I I trade the stock market with a lot of variables in there. So maybe it doesn't make sense to you, but it makes absolutely perfect sense to me. And that's all that matters. If you're a profitable trader and it makes sense to you, keep doing you. You know what I mean? Keep doing what you're doing. Who's here to hate on anybody that's doing what they want with their life? And that's exactly what I'm doing right here doing exactly what I want with my life. I'm very excited for the future. And I, I want the monkey army to, I want us to go up together. We got this. 
We got this. Flex, flex. Never stop training. Remember, you are competing against the guy across the screen. Never stop improving. Leaving him sick with cold. Good luck to all Monkey Army. David Patella, you better get checked out for the coronavirus, man. You better get checked out. If you have a cold, I think it starts with a runny nose or something. It gets into your respiratory system, something like that. So VXRT, if you guys did tr uh, take that VWAP bounce right there, that perfect little trade, it looks like I would take a little bit of profit up towards that $1.75. I know it's not going to be a lot of money. It's probably like 7 $0.08, cents, but 7 $0.08 cents is good first profit target right there. And at least it would be for me. Remember to always trade your own plan, plan your own trade. I'm just saying what I would do. Definitely what I would do. Let's go. Get on down there. Get on down there. Get down there, man. 235, 235. Man, maybe it's not going to get down there. 1,000 shares at 944. Man, this didn't even get down there. <laughs> Boom. 944. Good job, TT, on uh, CODX. That would be a good trade. G A T Z O M R. Oh, never stop. I have allergies this month. I can't have it. <laughs> I have allergies this month. I can't have it, man. APRN looks like it's kind of breaking down by the $6. It's right back down to the $6. VXRT is moving up. INO is still pushing up. I just want to keep these out there in the market so you guys know what's kind of going on right here. And there's uh, what else is moving? There's a few stocks moving in the stock market today, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Come on, man. Hi from Sweden. I love this guy. Reina, it's good to see you, man. It's good to hang out with you guys every single day. I'm so excited. You guys know I'm a phenomenal trader and I only take green trades. I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, you guys, I don't know what I was saying, actually. I just wanted to use phenomenal and that was the only way I could use phenomenal in a sentence right there. So I just said it like that, you know. That was not being humble. That was not coming correct. That was just standing out and standing up proud, man. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know. Look at AYTU is such a weirdo stock man that's a weirdo stock if i ever seen one who knows what's going on heading into lunch this will tell us right now yep heading into lunch i've been noticing a couple things that's moving the boom 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 from you right bro <laughs> yes this is phenomenal group yeah michael purves this is a phenomenal group of traders Look what AYTU did. It just went straight from $1.50 all the way to $1.70. Would I take that trade like I took an AIM trade? Like I took the same trade as it was going up? No way, man. AYTU is like a rip necker. It rips your neck right off. But VXRT was a beautiful, classic, great trade for any beginner trader, for any trader for that matter. VXRT was a clean, super clean setup. Just tight risk management, tight profits, tight everything. Every perfect. And so was INO, believe it or not. INO was another one. From Sweden too, but moved to Spain. Oh, so you guys are you guys are by the same. Are you in touch with your close bro in trading, Mr. Patrick Whelan? Patrick Whelan, you guys know, he's the number one day trader out in the stock market, man. The number one day trading channel. The number one day trading channel. We're coming up hard. We're coming up fast. We're going to claim we're going to claim number one day trading channel eventually. We're going to let Patrick Whelan keep it for a little bit longer, but he he knows he knows he deserves it right now, but I'm a big fan of Patrick Leland, so I'm a little bit prejudiced. But you guys know whatever you guys think, whatever you guys think, I'm a I'm a big fan of Patrick Leland's <laughs> on his life. On his life, he he definitely is moving through life with a purpose, and he knows where he's going. Maybe a lot of it just fell into him, and he just did his passion. That's what makes me like Patrick Leland. He followed his passion. And his dreams came true. That's the truth with life. If you can follow your passions hard enough, your dreams will come true. 
even if you're not going to make a lot of money, you're going to be happy anyway. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm, I'm saying a lot of stuff. Patrick blew up his account. That means we're one step closer into becoming the number day trading channel out there, man. <laughs> I hear stimulus payments for Americans. No, I can't believe, why do the airlines, why do the, uh, why do the, uh, not the airlines, the airlines and those cruise ships, why are they going to get bailed out? What I don't get, where's all their money at? They're making money every single day. Where's their money at? Why, why do they need help? I don't get it. But if I owned a company, I would have a little bit of backup stuff, you know? A little bit of backup. Or if I owned a cruise line, I mean, but... If I owned a cruise line or an airport, that's the number one thing in business. You got to keep your money. You got to have backup just in case of emergencies, always. I hear stimulus. Fire them all. Yeah, fire them all. Who, who knows what's going to happen? Is the coronavirus, is it stretching out today? I have to get out of here in a minute. I'm just going to get out of this trade. I, I can't do it. I cannot not do it right there. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, if I owned if I owned a, a shipping company or something like that, look at CODX is pushing AYTU. Maybe you can take that trade right there, but just not AYTU. Yes, Mister Magnify, that thing's moving. Man, I'm all over the place today. I'm just like going boom, bouncing here, bouncing there, bouncing there. 52. I'm going to get out of this trade. Airlines in all actual actuality do not make profits. Well, what are they in business for if you're not making profits? How can that even work out? I don't get how that can work out. You got to make profits, man. 30-minute <laughs> chart shows support on my Fibonacci retracement from yesterday. Low Josh Allen. Look at AAL. AAL. Okay, let me look at that one real quick. AAL. A -A oh, A. A L A A L boom, A A L. What is it? Oh, American Airlines, right there. Look at these bouncing right now. American Airlines, boom. Well, let's go to the daily chart. The Fibonacci. Somebody was saying thirty minute uh, Fibonacci. Two fifty. What is happening around here? Where, what trade am I in? Oh, oh, I'm in AIM, right? I'm in AIM. I should be in AIM, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Who knows? Is it going to pull back? Are you going to short sell to me? Here's what, here, I'm just going to tell you what I would do. Or wait, I don't know. I, I don't know about this one, but to me, I would be looking for a, uh, is it going to? Let's see what's happening. It's bouncing. It definitely is bouncing, man. <laughs> definitely is bouncing. Look, it's been going up for two days now. Two days this thing's just climbing, climbing, climbing. Chasing green bars is how they do it. No, Josh was talking about OPGN. Oh, OPGN. <laughs> OPGN. I didn't know which one. Okay, let, let me look at OPGN. OPGN. I should have that one out here. OPGN right there. <clears throat> OPGN. You know what this one's setting up for? For the afternoon for the VWAP test trade. The VWAP test trade. If it could make a low, 307, I would need it to get a little bit lower, maybe by the 315, the 310s down there. And maybe I would try to scoop it up down there for the VWAP test. And then I would sell up towards the 330s. And then I would sell up towards the $4 or 350s and then 370s. Right down here, right where OPGN is right about now is where I would try to scoop it up. I definitely would try to scoop that up. Yeah, 307 or 310. TT says 307 or 310. But remember to always trade your own plan, plan your own trade. I am just recently became a profitable trader. Do you think COCP still has room? I have no idea. One day to the next, I follow the volume. Wherever the volume goes, that's where I'm going to go. 
One way I may have looked at a stock last week, it may have a total different look this week. I, I add up the volume each and every day, so I, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at it recently, but <clears throat> maybe. May, maybe it's going to do something. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know on that one. But anyways, I have to get out of here for the day, so I'm going to sell out of my shares right here. If it was... If it was me, I would actually try to add to my position down here, but I'm not. It's just not. Look at AIM all the way down. All the way down. Five day, five minute. AAL halted. Trading Monk is right. Just bought OPGN. OPGN, it does have room to the upside. Remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. What is going on here? 251, okay. I have to get out of here, so I'm just gonna get out of here for a loss on this. It's okay, I only have two shares. If I wasn't, I would add to my position down where I said, down towards the 235, 236, and then I would have a 250, 240 something average right there, and then boom, but oh well. I, I'm getting out, I'm, I'm selling right here. Sell market. Sell market 247. 247. I'm going to sell at 247. Suppose you buy an item from Amazon or eBay and it gets shipped from China or elsewhere. Is it possible by opening a package you are able to catch the virus? They say if it's a. Uh, they say no. The cardboard or I, I don't know if it. I can't remember what they called it. Like if it's slick or whatever, like money, the virus can travel like on money or something. Or what do you call that when it's like a blanket? If it's a blank, you know, like I I don't know what. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know, but it can travel. It can travel and it can live, but cold kills it. I think and something. What do you call that, man? Simpson episode say yes. <laughs> Phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. Thanks, Terry Monk, for the coming out today. We <clears throat> will all be waiting for the big party. TT, there's going to be a party. Everybody's invited. We're going to do this. We may own an island someday. We may own a hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. Wait for our future. We're going there. We're going to the top. I'm going to spread this out. We're going to spread it up. Thank you guys for hanging out. What's your Facebook? I don't have a Facebook page, but I do have a Twitter, but I don't really use it too often. But I do I do have a Twitter, and that's it. I, I was thinking about doing another one. Anyways, I got to get out of here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. Hope you guys have a great day today. There's a few stocks moving, AYTU. I think AIM still has room to the upside. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bright and early. I'm out of here in five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Have a great day.